You know, it's always great to start a stream when you have no idea what you're supposed to be talking about. Welcome to the Cone Stream. And today we got Bruckus, Little Miss Anonymous, myself, and Schmeckles here in spirit. Because we all know he's, uh, well, he's resting. He's Poor guy. <laughs> resting. He's too resting. hungover to stream. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could see how that would be a factor. Um, I mean, I don't, yeah. I've, I've been there before where I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to say anything. I just want to lay there and slowly die. I mean, we could look at the title of the stream and find out what the fuck he was uh, planning for us to talk about. Social media. Uh, visas and trans people aren't invisible today. Um, what? <laughs> I don't remember trans people ever being invisible, but sure. You can cut, you could pretty well tell. That's, you know, I, I, I believe when I watch a Blair White movie, I am looking at Blair White, not just a, a, a Blair White movie. Has she been in a movie? Oh, I said movie, didn't I? Yeah. We were talking about movies in my fucking language. I suck. He done ruined everything. Oh, oh, look at that. He's he's so he's uh, not hung on, over enough to send us the links. Um, so U.S. visa applicants may soon be asked for social media identities. Oh my! Where is this? Is this Canada? Oh no! <laughs> oh Canada! What what? I mean, I'll put it in. The, I'll put it in the chat for everybody who wants to see what what the train wreck we're looking at. So, does this mean they're going to track down people's anonymous pseudonyms to find out whether or not they can immigrate into the country? Um, maybe. But can you do that though? That's that's my question. Is that even possible? Um, well, I mean, you you are not anonymous to the government on the internet. Well, That's just... Go ahead. I was just going to say, there's a bit of a loophole behind that. If we get some social media account, why couldn't you... You are roboting really bad there, and, and plus, Am I? You Hold are, on. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the... Uh, you're not anonymous to your government, even if you have anonymous accounts and shit. They can just track you via your IP address. So, well, anyway. yeah, I get, I get that. I, anything I like the only thing you're really protecting yourself against by being anonymous on the internet is like people on the internet doing bad shit to you. It's about the only thing you're gonna save yourself from. Okay. The government will find you if they really want to. <laughs> Unless I get rid of all of my technology, then they can't find me worth a shit. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I don't ever want to go that route because, like, it looks like it actually could happen in movies, but I'm retarded and would just end up going to a Walmart to get, like, a fucking Coke and a bag of chips, and they'd catch me. Well, yeah, I mean, Facial you need recognition. Your, your debit card. No, no, no. I, I, like, even if I stop using my debit card, if I have just cash on me and I'm like, I don't want the government to find me, I'm going to leave. But like before I leave town, I would go to a Walmart to get myself a snack and a drink and then the, <laughs> the FBI would be outside. And I'm stupid because I forget, oh yeah, Walmart's got cameras. You're very recognizable too. That is also, yeah, that's... You, once you've seen me, once you know what I look like, you really can't forget what I look like. I might look like Fat Keemstar, but you're going to know the difference between the two of us. <laughs> you don't look like enough of a gnome. No, I'm actually the opposite. I'm a fucking giant. That dude's yeah, a midget. Yeah. <laughs> Can we put you and Keemstar in a room and have you fight to the death? Uh, that'd be a two-second fight. He'd just fall to the ground, peeing himself, and I'd just stomp on his head. I was going to say, you'd probably just have to sit on him. Probably, yeah. Oh no! This, so this is sorry. This is the uh, global news. Dot I thought it was Canada, but no, it's the it's the United States visa applicants. Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, we would require most immigrant and non-immigrant visa applications to list all social media identities they have used in the past five years. So let me get this straight. They're gonna they're gonna scour everything: your Tumblr, your Facebook, your Twitter, and they're gonna look for any evidence that you've basically said, like, I'm not a legal citizen, and then what? 
either force you to become a legal citizen or kick you the fuck out of a country that you pretty much lived in your entire life. I don't understand the logic in this argument. Well, I what? mean, they, this is my my uncle's a bit of a conspiracy nut, and he he was very upset when I got a Facebook because you know now the government knows me as as an individual. They know my identity and my personality because of all my posts. <laughs> this, oh no! This, this almost sort of proves him right if they want to use it as a <laughs> as a they, screening process. They know your real name is Sally. I don't actually know your real name. I'm just calling you Sally. Holy shit, Sally! They're gonna find you. Jesus, Sally's like the worst name ever. <laughs> I'm sorry I, if your name's Sally. I feel guilty now. <laughs> Immediately, I feel bad for making fun of your name. So I'm gonna sorry. kill you, Darnell. Dar oh, huh? <laughs> Chat, piss me off. <laughs> oh, do it. No. Why not? I mean, I bet I'll you kill Darnell. A, you can make a lot of money. I'm not doing that. Sixty-nine with Keemstar. Come on. No. Why not? Because he might like it. He's yeah, exactly. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to give him what he wants. You're so faithful to Zell. It's cute. I, I'm not faithful to Zell at all. <laughs> Stupid slut. Dirty hoe. Yeah, Zell strikes me as a bit of a hoe. He can be a hoe. He, he's one of those people, like, if you if, if you say the right things to him or, or you, you you pay the right price, he, he will do damn near anything for you. Like, all you got to oh. do is just... just uh, uh, grease the wheel. That's it. That's all it is. And then so, he's for sale. Is this he can be saying? for sale. Yeah, he is definitely for sale. I think I've got like four dollars in my mattress somewhere. I, he can have that, and I'll get him to do something for me. He will Ooh. use that to buy energy drinks. Thus, you have his loyalty. Oh, wonderful! Wonder. Well, it's Canadian four dollars, so yeah, then only be able to be like half an energy drink. No, 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 no. Uh, we have dollar energy drinks over here, so he'll oh, probably get like two pounds. Get two, yeah. Not four, but two. That's good enough. Dollar energy drinks? You mean coffee? I don't know. No, they're literally uh, energy drinks, just like like a monster or a rock star. That was a joke. And you you're ruining Samaj's joke, and I'm very upset I, now. I don't know what things <laughs> anymore. <laughs> well, he doesn't know what we have here in Canada. I, I got really it, don't. Samaj. I understood. Well, it. <laughs> we we have the, we have the superior drink here called, called Timmy's. We do. I no. fucking knew you were going to bring up Tim Hortons, you son of a bitch. Have you been to Tim Hortons? No, I've never been to Canada. Okay, well, you need to fix that, and then you'll know what this, what we're all talking about. It, I don't... Uh, okay, also, what, Tim Hortons your, is a fucking donut a place? No, it's not a donut place. It is a coffee place with coffee donuts. Place with donuts. Oh, okay. My and also mistake. food. No, they have food, too. Like sandwiches and mm. bagels. And chili combo. Chili. Yeah, the chili combo. I love the chili combos. It's a, okay. it's a place. You come here for food, okay? You come there for Where food. Where everybody knows your name. That <laughs> actually sounds a lot better than, than most places out here because, like, if you've got a restaurant, like, you know, if it's a donut place, it only sells donuts and cigarettes and coffee and milk and juice. That's it. This is the breakfast essentials plus tobacco. Um, but then if you go to, like, I don't know, a, chili place you know you can get a chili cheeseburger you can get chili fries you can get chili dogs that's about it you guys you segregate ask. your food too much we have we have themed restaurants oh and or fast food restaurants that's that's what the problem is i, I think the closest thing that you guys have there uh is a dunkin donuts it's about the same i think they only have donuts and coffee in there though like and maybe egg like egg mcmuffin type dealios yeah, yeah we have breakfast foods and donuts and coffee and that's basically it well that's kind of like tim horns but except they have sandwiches too mm -hmm. soup. Soup yeah see the fact that you guys have like a, a chili combo and sandwiches is making me mad because i'm like america get your shit together come on, Let's come get this on, come on. you know you'll be disappointed with our portion sizes because they got nothing on you guys what do you mean well i mean I have been down to the States a bit. It's it's a drive, but I can get down there in like 12 fucking hours. Um, you guys, your portion sizes are what is double what we usually serve to people in a restaurant. <laughs> oh, that might explain the fatness of California Everything and well, basically everywhere. You fucking mungus. Like, uh, my mom and I went down there to go shopping and she, we ordered the a Bloomin' Onion from... Oh, back and oh my fucking god, the thing was massive. 
I it's bigger than, it was bigger than my head. And we were, we saw people ordering two or three of them. Hell yeah, because they're we delicious. Just, <laughs> but they're huge. How do you do? Oh. But Anon, Anon, Anon. You always have to remember. Mail <laughs> kill. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's right, son of bitches. This murka. We like to burn shit, blow shit up. And get diabetes. Get diabetes. I don't know what. Get diabetes? How do we get that? Diabetes. Too much gravy. You're fucking nuts. I, I don't believe a word you just said. Diabetes is the sugar. No, I know. And they put a lot of sugar in gravy in the sauce. What? what? Yes. That's part of how some of their no! gravy is made. Why? Why? I, first, don't fucking first, ask me. I don't live ruin, in the South. You know what? First you ruin gravy with coffee, and then you put fucking sugar in it. Dude, okay. First of all, uh, no, I don't know no, who invented no, first gravy. Of all, get out. You calm the fuck down. No. All right? You you took fries, and you yes. put gravy you on them. You put gravy on them, and it's delicious. Eat you it. Disgust me, you fucking vile human beings. You put melted cheese. You put bacon bits. Hell, yes. you put a little bit of uh, cheese sauce on that some bitch. You're but an you American that's gravy. mad about cheese on something? No, no, I'm mad about the gravy. You're mad about gravy on french fries? Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why what the you fuck is wrong with you? It's so good. American. There ain't nothing wrong with us. Except we're American. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, apparently, uh, Southern United States invented brown gravy. The southern United States invented a lot of shit. To be honest, I don't care where the food actually comes from until somebody actually tries to say, Blacks are the only ones who ever invented potato chips. Really? The history in Ireland tells a different story by at least 20 years. Shh, they're white. They can't invent anything. I just, shut the fuck up. No, but that's, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, I don't necessarily care where the fuck the food actually came from. I just care about how it's prepared, where it comes from, stuff like that. Like... I didn't know what chicken fried steak was, and then I had chicken fried steak, and I was like, this shit is amazing. Maybe uh, don't ever do shit like this again, but hey, this was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I scared the fuck out. I, didn't, I thought I was getting like a steak and chicken, uh, fried chicken on my plate. And I then got, you got chicken fried steak. Yeah. It's not, it's not it, the same thing. <laughs> it threw me off. I didn't know what the fuck I was ordering. I got mad. I was just like, I, I'm. Uh, by the way, I was a kid, so obviously, you know. My, was it delicious clear. though? It was fucking amazing. Okay, so the poutine is the same way. It also looks gross when you get it, but oh my god, is it delicious? Well, yeah, I saw the thumbnail that fucking Samaj drew, bearing looking at the, uh, the the poutine, and I'm just oh. like. That looks terrible. Why would it you do that? That so looks disgusting. Good. It is. So, you know what? Chili looks like vomit, and and that's still delicious. It does, so, and it is. Yeah. I mean, God, it, it, food doesn't have to look pretty as long as it fucking tastes good. Take that, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Why does all their shit gotta look so goddamn it's pretty? So, but it tastes good too. So that's the worst part. Is I know they take their time to make all of their food look so fucking gorgeous like everything they've killed is a model somehow and it makes like you feel bad for eating it yeah and then i I'll, I'll sit there and i'll eat the fucking ramen i'll eat the fucking sushi i will eat all the shit that they fucking put in front of me maybe not so much certain things that i've heard that they also do in japan and i'm like nah, nah i'm not doing that but like i will eat it and it's delicious and i'm mad because i'm like <laughs> how did you do this i need to get poutine in front of you so that you can be mad at it <laughs> Probably will. I'll be it's like, this is the delicious. ugliest looking fucking thing ever. And then I eat it oh, and I'm just like, God. Oh, God, it's so amazing. Actually, New York Fries makes the best poutines for like a quick poutine. They, got, like, they make their own French name. fries. You know, I, I was wanted to say on the, the whole Japan thing, um, I feel the same way. I look at the food and like, oh, fuck. But the, the worst part is you actually look at their, the anime about food because there are animes about food. Like Food Wars. Yes, yes, it there are. It looks so good. How do you make animated food look so good? You get mad at food. Question. How are you so fat? Dude, I, I watched an episode <laughs> of uh, of Gigguk, and I, that was one of the topics he, he had actually recently talked about in one of his shows. And then he, of course, did a live-action version of what they were doing. They were doing, I think, Udon. And he was showing, like, based on their portions and what they're doing, it doesn't actually translate into reality well. 
And it's well, really, fucking hilarious looking. Yeah, because he You know, animated stuff. things don't translate into real life. Who would have thought? Huh. No, it's just well, because <laughs> anime goes out of its way to make everything look so fucking over-the-top gorgeous and fantastic looking. And it's just like, I want that. And then you try to do it in real life and you're pissed because you can't. No matter how many times you do it, no matter what you do, it never comes out the same. And it just frustrates you. Well, and food is something that, that is in the realm of reality. And, and what they make and how it's presented, it's in the realm of possibility. You could definitely do that. But then you try to do it like how they do it in the show. Obviously, it's not going to work because it's fucking fictional. I mean, don't talk to me. I'm a woman. I can make good food. That <laughs> sexist? <laughs> that was... <laughs> How dare you be I mean, have you seen some of uh, some of the stuff I've baked over over the course of time? I'm too distracted by what Opal tries to cook uh, that that I don't see anybody else's shit. That, that's oh true. yeah, I I oh, what did I made most recently uh, was I think Christmas. I made um, like log pumpkin spice cakes with the. Uh, Cream cheese, eggnog frosting. Oh my god, they were so fucking good. Hey, Amanda. Hey, I was about to go to bed when I saw the link, and I was like, oh, I can pop in. You're talking about food! And, he, and, and Brock is just getting angry because he can't make pretty food. I can't. I couldn't even make, like, ugly, delicious food. I, I make ugly, nasty food. What? Well, oh, that's sad. That makes me feel bad for you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I need I, help. Oh, god. <laughs> Sorry. No, go for it. I was going to say, sometimes my food can come out pretty, and sometimes it is ugly delicious, but it, either way, it's always delicious. As long as it tastes good, that's all that really matters. I gave myself food poisoning one time. How, uh, what did you not cook properly? I undercooked ribs. Oh. Really? Yeah. Wait, pork ribs or beef ribs? Pork, I think. Oh, that What'd explains you do? a lot. I, I guess I, I was trying to keep it like... What what was it that I saw online? Somebody had said, put something online, uh, like instructions on how to do it, and I guess they mistyped. So I, I put it on for not as long as you should have. Like, I think you were supposed to put them on for 10 minutes, but I only put them on for, like, six. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. And you didn't notice when you started eating it that the inside was kind of jello-y and not, like, meat? No, it was just the whole thing was way, I thought I could like compensate by like making the fire really hot. But like, no, that it was actually just really fucking chewy. And uh, yeah, I ended up shitting for a, a while. Slow cook oh. them your dang ribs, all right? Yeah, you slow cook them first and then you put them on the barbecue. I was young, I am tarted, so there you go. I don't know how to do what I'm doing. <laughs> You know what? I would highly recommend getting the Food Network and watching it. Just watch it all the time. You will learn so much. Okay. Oh, yeah, man, uh, And it's actually entertaining. It is. I think I would be great at that show Chopped. Like, that's the kind of cooking I do. I'm poor as fuck. I go look in the pantry and, oh, I have this and this and this. Now I have to make a meal. Like, I could do that shit all day. To the Food Network! <laughs> Typical woman. Help me! No, nah, man, the Food Network is awesome. Goddamn. Speaking of food, did you guys ever uh, you ever watch like Kevin Smith and his little podcast? Which no. one? The the one recently when he was talking about his uh, vegan diet. Oh, oh god. god! Well, he, it's uh, some who don't don't know. He recently had a heart attack, so he's trying some new things out, uh, especially to lose weight in particular, so he can get by. And so he's he's going to be on the vegan diet thing for maybe a year, give or take. He's not sure how long he'll he'll keep it up. Oh but yeah, as a diet, it works. I'm sure. Well, yeah, his goal is to get his weight down, get healthy, and then, you know, hopefully have some control over himself. And uh, that, that's the idea. But he, he was told, like, for at least two weeks, the only thing you're allowed to eat is potato. And he thought, oh, potato? Great, I love potato. Baked potato, we got a little, mu a little butter onto there, and, you know, salt <laughs> and pepper. And then the guy's like, no, 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 no. You, you can bake it, boil it, and all that kind of stuff, but you can't put butter, can't put salt, can't put pepper, can't put any seasoning, just potato. And he's like, what? And, yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. But, well, yeah, um, that's what happens when you malnourish yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. but he's like, oh, God, 
Like, food, like, it, it, like, he just doesn't look forward to eating anymore. It's, it's terrible. But then the worst thing is, well, not worse, but the strangest thing has happened is that he has gotten control. He doesn't, like, look at other people's food and eating, and he's just drooling. He doesn't do that anymore. But he loves to look at the food. And then the, weird, then the strangest thing has happened. He started getting boners watching people eat food. It's oh, <laughs> that's oh, that's the man is malnourished. <laughs> it's, the man it's is going to turn himself into a weird food sex pervert. It, it can easily happen. He's like, I'm not, I'm, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I got to get on something. Pretty soon he's good, he'll, he'll be allowed to eat carrots. Oh, yeah. You know, just put that baloney on your pussy. Let me watch you. <laughs> Kevin Smith, please, just eat a piece of meat. No, I'll just watch you rub it on yourself. It's okay. It, yeah, well, he, he's talking with doctors. He's, he's trying to make sure he's carefully monitored. He's not planning on staying this way. He just wants to get healthy. Oh, right. Vegan Games ain't gonna like that. Is he's he probably gonna make a video. Is he talking about real doctors, or is he talking to, like, homeopathic? No, real... I can't air quotes, but doctors. No, he ha he has to talk to real doctors, because, like I said, heart attack, and he needs to talk to actual people, and he's telling him exactly what he's eating and all that stuff. He's keeping food journals and all that, because all that, it's... If you're scared for your health, of course you're gonna do that. Well, yeah, I, I mean, mean yeah. I don't. I mean, I could die, like, all the time, and I don't. I really don't take care of myself like I should. Gabriel, I uh, eat some days. Gabriel Iglesias had a had a scare with diabetes. They thought he was going to die in a couple of years. Did you ever see him? Holy shit, man! He was round. The man had no <laughs> neck. Like, there was a neck there. Yeah, there was fat, and then underneath all of that, I'm sure there was neck. I've always only seen him like head, shoulders. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> head to shoulders. Yes. Calves to feet, no ankle. <laughs> I, I was questioning how he was able to rotate his head like he does, but now I understand. Apparently, oh, there yeah. was a neck there. Yeah, there's just, just under all the jello. <laughs> Talking about the jello, eh? Oh no, that's 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 rapey. We don't we don't we don't condone that. <laughs> it's pudding, not jello. <laughs> it it was pudding, yeah. It's Jell-O pudding. The company was Jell-O when they made the pudding. Yes, but pudding. it was the pudding that he got very excited about. Hi, yeah, and hi, the pops. Jell-O pudding pops. There you go. He liked to pop a lot of things. <laughs> Both the pills and women's self-consciousness. <laughs> it's worse. It's worse when somebody's doing an impression of him. <laughs> No, yeah. the thing is, he always creeped me out. Everybody in my family said I was weird. He always creeped me out. I don't, I was a little, like, Bill Cosby was a bit uh, past my prime. I, I think I'm a little young for him. Oh, we were poor as fuck, so we used to watch, you know, old school TV with the rabbit ears and shit, so you could see that, uh, that kids say the oh, darndest God. thing shit he used to do. Oh, we, oh. I, I, there was so much I wasn't allowed to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, because you grew up in a, in a shithole religion. I, I grew up in an actual cult, like a real-life cult. Oh, yeah. shit. That's crazy. I celebrated my second Easter this year, though. That's yeah. just sad. I, yeah. That's a very sad thing to say. Do you want to know how old I was when I celebrated my first birthday? <sighs> Please, God, no. I was 16. It's my first birthday. Are you talking about Jehovah's Witnesses? I, I am. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, that is a good movie, though. <laughs> People are fucking creepy. <laughs> What's that? The, the Bruce Willis movie with the Jehovah's Witness kid, and he's a bank robber, and he, like, kidnaps the kid as a hostage. I think it's called Hostage. No, it's not called Hostage. It's hostage called is Perfect a good movie. World. That was a good movie with Ben Foster. Sorry yeah. about that. I derailed. No, it's not Hostage. Oh no! Ew, uh, ew. I don't. Oh God! Uh, nobody. Okay, Jehovah's Witnesses are, are assholes. No, <laughs> Bruce Willis ends up. He buys the kid a Halloween costume and takes uh, him trick or treating, even though it's not Halloween anymore, because he finds I out the kid. No fucking clue what this movie is. Go. I have. I actually never... remember this movie. I did not like it when I was a kid. Actually, I loved this movie when I was a kid because he um, protects the kid. Right? He's supposed to be this bad guy, but this other bad guy tries to rape the kid, and he murders the other bad guy to protect the. <laughs> what, kid. Was this was this pedophile a uh, uh, 
Jobs Witness by any chance? Because that wouldn't be surprising. <laughs> no, it was someone else that broke out. They like broke out of jail together oh, or something. And so he and, and he didn't like the other guy. He just had to break out with him because I think they were like cuffed together or in the same cell mm-hmm. or something like that. So yeah, they end up getting the kid as their hostage so that they can get away from uh, the Jehovah's Witness house because the rapey dude was trying to take the mom. Oh God! And he would let him take the mom, so he grabs the kid, thinking the kid would be safe. But then he catches the guy trying to rape the kid, and so he straight up murders that dude. <laughs> I'm sad now because I've never, I've never been trick or treating. By the time I got out, I was too old. I have a kid. Like, take your kid. Ew. Oh wait, you hate Ew. kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> worse. I'd rather just buy the candy. Fuck it. Yeah, she's not planning on having children. Uh, no. Yeah, I forgot. It took me. I remembered. Oh, I didn't know Robert was going to be in here. Oh, no. Kick, kick hey, yeah. out. Is that a problem? <laughs> I think you're missing the only good thing that would be up for you about having kids is you live vicariously through them. You get a whole No, no, they suck your youth out of you, and then, then you don't get to do anything ever. God damn it. No, we got to take you trick-or-treating. You got, okay, well, you take me trick-or-treating, then. I can dress up like a 12-year-old. I can pull it off. I just have to strap up, strap down the girls for a night. <laughs> That's what she needs to do. She needs to skip kids. She needs grandkids when she's Mercury older. rising. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, fucking we A! Going- okay, the kid that played... Yeah, he was uh, autistic in the movie. Oh, are we back on that? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I believe... No, I believe the kid was uh, was actually autistic in the movie. That's yeah, yeah. That actor, the kid who played that the the, the autistic kid, um, I met him in real life. He was a cool dude. Oh, I forget his fucking name, but he was the same kid that said in uh, Kindergarten Cop, "Boys have penises, girls have vaginas." <laughs> oh, that kid. <laughs> well, that's that's acceptable. I know. Are you sure he's acting I'm autistic? My kid, like my kid, is that kid? Those were like the only two movies he was in. I think. Oh, good. He got out young. And then he's, yeah, he's probably like, fuck this. I keep getting fucked in the butt. He's typecast no, as the penis and vagina kid now. He probably had a mom that actually paid attention because any kid with a mom that paid attention didn't stay in the TV business long, you know? I suppose. Well, I mean, uh, Drew, Drew Barrymore was in and then oh, out Jesus. for a long time and then back because she got fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that lady up. started doing coke at ten years old. Like, yeah, yeah, that'll 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 do it. Yeah, it's like mommy, mommy. The director said Harvey Weinstein wants to set up a meeting. We're going home. Amanda, like, <laughs> Amanda, like, we're done. Wait, we got a super chat. We got a super chat uh, from American Phoenix. Greetings, folks from Phoenix. Oh, the Phoenix has arrived. I shall ride eternally. Oh, ride eternal, shiny and chrome. Oh, what a Phoenix! Indeed, What's you up, are. AP? He's a good uh, boy. <laughs> Amanda, no, we'll no, talk about the Max. movie you were actually thinking of, however, was uh, actually A Perfect World. Thank and you. that was, was, that was starring oh, Kevin Costner. I was going to mention A Perfect World. I fucking love that movie. Yeah, I thought it was something like Perfect World. I knew yeah, that, that was, was actually Costner. Kevin Costner, not, not yeah. Bruce Willis. Oh, That's dang, a fucking was... amazing movie. I don't know. For some reason, in my head, it's Bruce Willis in the role. So I guess it should have been him that well, played. No, but that's because oh, in, in Mercury Costner Rising, in he's protecting an autistic kid. But in A Perfect World, Kevin Costner is protecting a uh, um, a Jehovah's Abused Witness kid. kid. So it's basically, yeah. it's kind of the same story, just years apart. Five years apart, to be exact, actually. No, <laughs> no, damn, I'm, I'm calling Man- Mandela Effect on that bullshit. Because it was totally Bruce Willis in A Perfect World and Kevin Costner in the other one. Damn it. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I just went up and looked on on IMDb like crazy. Stop, and- Brockus, Brockus. That's what the Mandela effect is, man. You can't look it up. Oh, you, hi, Mark. Different universe. <laughs> I love that just IMDb a different universe, bro. Yeah, She's no, doing I, a light a light little trigger to you, buddy. I wanted yeah. to acknowledge. I don't give a shit. I wanted to acknowledge. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a shit, but I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> I wanted to acknowledge the story that was happening before. I turned my attention to gorgeous Mark Coma. You know oh. that uh, uh, sexy Brockus, bearded bastard. You know Brockus has been cheating on you with Keemstar there. So. I, oh, no, you got split. the you got the mouth herbs now, don't you, Brockus? I do not. We split up. But I have a canker sore. There is a difference. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's still. No, herpes. that's okay. herpes, I'm gonna be a. Uh, that shit on your lips one, got some shit on it, man. I'm sticking with <laughs> lo-fi. <laughs> Did you just giggle like a schoolgirl, Brockus? Yes. <laughs> that, that was that was adorable. Could you do it again? Yeah, no. do it again. 
Not 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 unless Tonka wants to jump in here and giggle with me like a schoolgirl. Oh come on! He would giggle uh, okay. like a schoolgirl, Tonka. Am does. I the only one who ever notices that you just cannot take Tonka seriously once he starts laughing that way? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker will break <laughs> on a stream, and all you hear in the background is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's the funniest damn thing ever. I swear. <laughs> God, he laughs like a great fast. From mama's boy or grandma's boy. <clears throat> hey, that was an awesome movie. And it was yeah, an awesome movie. Tonka, Tonka, Tonka has every right to be a, a fucking grandma's boy, a mama's boy. He, I don't give a shit. Tonka can do what he wants to. I wasn't calling Tonka a mama's boy. Yeah, I thought you did call Tonka oh, a mama's no. boy. I said he laughs like JP from Grandma's Boy. <laughs> did he laugh in that movie? I could have sworn <laughs> it was just robot all the time. Oh no! Yeah, he did. Okay, no, my he bad. Totally he did. laughs. He does laugh, and it's really weird. Like <laughs> it, just, it takes you out of the movie. Like I don't. What was that? Don't ever do that again. How did he see me? God damn it! That movie's amazing. <laughs> oh oh god bad. damn that Jameson is good. Woo. Wolfie. Yeah. What's up? I see you. Oh, so you done bombarding Twitter with pictures of your. Oh my god! Puppy. We got outlaw. Yeah, what's up, my nigga? All right, it's a good stream now. The one that Fuck all you guys. <laughs> right? Oh, no, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> my Fifi's, man. That hurts. Fuck it's your Fifi's. You don't like red letter media, bitch. Yeah, you're done. Be. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. You're, Whoa, done. you're done. Oh, you, you're saying you don't like Clink It? No, God. He makes me so sad. Why are you making me sad? What, you got all triggered on Twitter about Last Jedi. No, I don't even know if I up. brought that shit up. Oh, no, some no, we were talking about that before. But if we're going to do the pissing contest, I'm going to go to bed because that's way more entertaining. She What's just doesn't know what a good movie pissing? is. Wait, wait, what are we pissing about? Nobody likes the new Mark, Star you, Wars. Mark, wait, you don't know what... Like, did you just Plinkett? say what's Plinkett? No, some people yeah. like the new Star Wars. I know I've shown you Mr. Plinkett's Star Wars reviews. Who gives a shit about Star Wars? I don't think so. Hold on, no I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a, a link on in the side chat for no him. one gives a shit about Star Wars. No, pop is plinket cherry. Lots of people give a shit about Star Wars. They just don't give a shit about this new one. It, plinket makes me angry. Or uh, or uh, um you know Rogue One. What's wrong, What's wrong with your face? Exact reason. What's wrong with your face? Email me if you want a pizza Holy roll. Oh, it's like he bred in here. Get out. <laughs> email me if you want a pizza roll. Uh, Fuck movies. Oh Get out of my house! I got okay. your keys, you fuck! Well, more disappointing than my son. That's your sleep. Uh, <laughs> if this, should, if this is I, what we're, if this is what we're doing now, I can do it You can't uh, just run one with the infamous... Ah, Batman! You shouldn't have told us you hated it. You shouldn't have told us you hated it. I didn't! Yourself. I didn't! Zell did! <laughs> You announced it on social media, of course. You get it it. Out of here. You get I was it born it. from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love fucking love you. I was a man. Good transition. I'm a man now. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a that was funny. <laughs> oh. Fucking Tom Hardy. I I, I that guy though. Yeah, what I up? hope he does a good job as Venom uh, or whoever Venom. he's playing. Venom. I do not like oh, Tom Hardy. You know I he's like gonna him. do a better job than goddamn Eric. I'd Forman let that off. guy rape me, man. <laughs> I would <laughs> too. Leave Eric Foreman alone. So, so hey, uh, Ed, no, Eric Foreman is cool, just not as Venom. Eric Foreman. I, I was bartending. Cool. I was working in uh, Santa Fe, and I met Captain Kirk. What's his name? Fucking uh, the new Captain Kirk guy. Oh, Chris Pine. Chris Pine. So Chris Pine came into the bar and I ended up getting off of work and going to this other bar and Chris Pine was still there and we ended up having a whole bunch of drinks and shit with a whole bunch of co-workers and everything. And I asked him what his thoughts on Tom Hardy was because he was in that one movie with Reese Witherspoon and Tom Hardy. And uh, he goes, oh, Bane? And I go, yeah. He goes, huge fucking dick. I gotta go take a <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I, uh, I dropped the link. Yeah. Wait, wait. Are you talking huge fucking dick? And no, like he has he, one, he or there like is a, one. He doesn't have a huge dick. I don't he know. Acts like a huge dick. dick. Has seen Tom Hardy's dick. How much and do you want that? That dick? Shit. How much do you want that? He's just trolling. 
<laughs> no, because dude, he was kind of drunk. And uh <laughs> but Chris Pine Tom was Hardy is Tom Hardy. Friend. You hear those stories all the time. Oh, oh so all hell blue whale, AP is in chat. All hell blue whale, fire power motherfuckers. What's up, AP, my whale. senpai? All hail blue whale. Kirby unto his name. That yeah. did you guys see the beardy movie? Oh, yes, God, I need that in my life. Yeah, so no, that was right great. Now. It was great. Yeah. Oh no, I have to. Someone's watch. asking yeah, me if I would fuck Tom Hardy. Um, it depends. That's an easy. Wait, that's, it depends. Fuck your shit off. It depends Wait, on what. Yeah, on what? That's fucking. I don't know. He he looks good in some movies. He doesn't look good in other movies. Like but you, you, so you're like you would fuck Tom Hardy from from what? I am, I am a super lesbian, but I can still find men attractive. So you would fuck Tom Hardy from which movies? Yeah, I'm super straight. There's chicks I would fuck. Uh, uh, I liked the way he looked in Mad Max and Lawless. I love Lawless. That was a good movie. What did you not like his look in? Uh, obviously fucking, you know, Bane. What? 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 He was. He looked awesome. Dude, no, he I looked, hated no, 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 no. He I let Bane great. fuck me and then snap my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's not attractive to me. I, I, I don't want to fuck him, but he was cool as shit. No, no jacked man for Wolfie. I would wow. ride that mountain of muscle. No, I swear no, to God. It, I, the face just bothered me. Everybody it wasn't was his great. actual face. He didn't Bullshit. use Joe's face in the movie. Nobody knew yeah, I who know. I was until I fucked Bane. <laughs> like, I'm not going to come at, like, some guy coming at me like, oh, hey, Pernodal. Yeah, I mean, that's not, I don't know. Brockus, who's your dude celebrity you would bang? Tom Hardy. Is, is it Tom Hardy? Is he <laughs> yeah. number one there? Which Tom Tom are... Hardy and then and then uh Jason Momoa is like right behind him with a half a point on this. Yeah, are are you are you in the middle? Are you sandwiched between them? Uh, I, oh my god, I would get ripped in half <laughs> by fucking Paul no, Drogo I, don't, and Kane. <laughs> I mean neck down just, Jason Momoa is hot, but I don't know about the face, man. Like who is Jason things. Momoa? Just Paul Drogo. Half, like, man. Nail through he has oh, a lazy okay, eye okay. too. Like if you notice, it fucks you up forever because his left eye wanders off to the left while he's still looking straight with he's his right eye. He's got the Forrest Whitaker eye. That's <laughs> Wait, funny. not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. That's actually an injury he got in a car accident, I think. And and uh, they stopped trying to cover that up with makeup. Wow, now we're all six. What? So he wasn't born with it? That means it's okay to make fun of him for it. <laughs> that was good logic, I'm not Mark. saying that. Like, no, go ahead. Make fun of him for it. He Is that how it works? <laughs> No, I'm just saying the reason why we actually like always see a scar now is ever since he played Paul Drogo, people anytime he's cast in a movie role, they stop trying to hide the scar because for some reason it, it makes him hotter in the eyes of most women and men who really are into that kind of shit. Like Brockus. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and so like now he just he's always rocking the scar and it's fucking funny. Is someone just sitting there doing coke? No, I'm clearing my pipe. <laughs> I, so you're you're doing coke. You on coke. So, yeah, that said, that sounds suspicious. A AP's in the chat, and I, I kind of like, I'm like, let's yeah. bust out the krill, man. Like, let's get some red krill going. Yeah. We'll I, I, I like fucking, I die. fucking missed some good AP rants, man. When, when Did that gonna krill get those, fuck you up, brother? Well, I sent him the link if, if he wants to actually, uh, you know, he jump in here. He can't. It's too full. There's, no, there's room there's for one more. There's only one, pers uh, one spot left open. Yeah, get AP's ass in here. Wait, I is he on Twitter nigger. or is it? Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> yep, it, it was AP doing all that coke. Uh, okay. He's on Twitter. It's under Gulf City, like A-A-A-Y-P-E-E -E or something. Oh, trust me, as soon as I found out he has a new Twitter, I started following that shit immediately. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting to follow back almost immediately. That was weird. I was surprised by that. Uh, I didn't that, even know he was back on Twitter. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, neither did I. <laughs> so what are we supposed to be talking about? Nothing. Well, this is a punk stream. Well, Actually, also, we had good. topics, but we we kind of just said fuck those topics and started we, talking. About, ironically, we, still talking about social media, which we, is one of the we, topics. So. We touched on the topics for about 30 seconds. Okay, what, so what, what is the topic? Know, yeah, Anon. Right? Okay. See, Anon, this Come is on. why you only hit about 20 to 30 viewers. I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you got to stick on the topics, lady. No! I'm here to get drunk. How about how about you watch some red letter media videos? No! And get an idea of how to put together a good production. I have a real job. <laughs> it's real, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a man now. I got my dick cut off. I'm a man. Now. I'm a man now. 
Uh, so there's the U.S. visa applicants may soon be asked for social media identities. That's fucking creepy. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's... Here, I'll uh, I'll post it in the side chat. Again. Do they have Do they have specific ones? They're like, we need your Twitter or nope. we need your Facebook. No, all the last <laughs> for, over the last five years, apparently. Every, I'm just gonna give them my media. MySpace. Oh. Fuck, that'd be a lot of... Look, I, I understand why they would ask for that. Like, if the information is, like, until now, we haven't had the, like, information available like that. Something but they fired. would still ask people questions when they get a passport and go into a foreign country. To the best of their ability, they would try to find out, like, who these people are. God damn it, Mark. Stop excusing I, it. I don't... Yeah, no, I don't think social media... Like, No, the government has no right to be poking their nose around and what you post on your fucking social yeah, media. That's a little creepy. See, see, I mean, like, anybody can just type in your fucking name into Google and find out all that shit. I think if you don't want <laughs> people looking at your social no, no, media, no, no. don't post everybody. anything. If you do it anonymously, yeah, your real about, name anonymously is cash, different. Right? You, anonymously is they different. They want all Plus, of your social pretty, media. It would be accounts. pretty embarrassing if I had to go to customs and they're like, oh, well, "What's your name?" Blah blah blah. Okay, now what's your social media? Um, uh, n- nigger penis seven seven five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, if apparently they want all your social medias over the last. Five years. They can have my Pornhub. <laughs> What's on it? <laughs> Nothing. I, I'm sure Mark is just thinking of the people who regularly tweet out like "Death to America" and yeah, uh, you know, shit like that. You know, uh, but that that was his uh, go-to reaction for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not for anybody topic. like digging into somebody, but I mean, if if they find someone with a social media account that's just exactly like that's the fucking America. And, and you have to admit, we need stronger vetting for fucking <coughs> for, before we let people into the country. Yeah. yeah. Do you have blue eyes? Get out of here. As far as that goes, if you post- I have blue eyes, motherfucker. I'm, now they're crying. Mine mine are blue eyes too. I don't understand oh why God. he's throwing shit like that. Stop hurting everybody's feelings. God. Zell has blonde hair and blue eyes. That son of a bitch is a fucking Aryan oh. god right now. Well, I mean, he's fat, though. That's. <laughs> oh, my god. Yeah, yeah Hitler's like not going to like pounds. that. Speaking of Hitler, uh, I when I was driving home, I passed a guy that had a license, a personalized license plate that said fascism. <laughs> not kidding. It was weird. Did I tell you I saw a protest the other day and a lady was holding a sign with a hammer and sickle on it that said, get on the right side of history. Nah. Oh, nah. oh, that's uh, uh that's so the kind cringe. of moment where I just want to run them off the road. Do yeah. it. I told him. I told him he should have circled the block and got a picture, but no, uh, he didn't. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. You're, but it. You're but you're slash that happened. <laughs> yeah, slash our our slash that happened. Yeah. I killed it. Those fucking dogs, dude. I swear to God. You should oh. order some Chinese food very, very soon. And, you know. Dogs to the delivery guy instead of mm-hmm. paying the tab. And then don't <laughs> order from that place again for at least a month. It's going to tip them the dogs. <laughs> Here, you take this bastard. <laughs> Make- Don't serve him to me next time you come here. <laughs> I'll still make some decent sweet and sour pork. <laughs> oh, sweet and sour pork. It's fine. Fuck you, dolphin. Fuck you, dolphin. Oh, I love South Park. Uh, What's uh, Brooks has pretty much ruined that show for me. What? How? No BS. Yeah. What? Because after after I see that he posts a breakdown, I don't even watch the breakdown, but I know that it's just like, I don't even want to watch it now. What? How does that ruin South Park? Because he's so horrible. You, do you really have to take me this seriously? Yes. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm very upset about this. Can you tell? Yeah, can, we're, <laughs> the, the, the autistic, the autistic people the stream are very kills confused, everything Mark. that he touches. Yes, That's thank you. Please help me. That's, Please not, help. that's not okay. Please help me. Ah, uh, Timmy, please help. <laughs> Dude, okay, so so I went over to Zell's and and uh, he was watching old episodes of South Park and he forgot how much this the show actually made him like crawl over the fucking everything and cry laughing and shit. 
And then he plays me the episode where uh, where Cartman's getting arrested for a hate crime and he goes to jail and shit. And they, they use Timmy's uh, wheelchair to make a time machine. And it goes fucking crazy. In the background, Timmy, for the first time ever, well, aside from Timmy in the Lords of the Underworld quote, He's saying shit other than Timmy, and it's please help in the background, and I'm fucking laughing goddamn hard. <laughs> Timmy, pl please help me, please. That's, that's new. <laughs> God, the show used to be so good, and now it, it, it's still good. one of the best lie. episodes. The what side? Cripple Fight was one of the best episodes. Oh, Indeed. My God, yeah. Jimmy and Timmy fucking just, Cripple dude, five. I mean, oh, like, didn't, didn't they copy that shot for shot from some, like, movie with, like, the, like yeah, some it's from, uh, it? it's from They Live, I believe. Yeah, They Live. That's also yeah, where Tonka yeah. got his uh, blue skin avatar. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't yeah, it. yeah, that's what that's yeah. from. You're going to have to go but yeah, that's watch that. That's a pretty badass movie. It was accidentally badass, though. It was accidentally bad. Yeah, I don't Dude, that was one of the first times Roddy Roddy like Piper it. actually was fucking awesome in a movie and shit. What? Roddy Roddy Piper was the white guy. Oh, now that we're talking live. about movies, don't go see Ready Player One. I will go see it tomorrow. Don't God, waste your time, Rob. Damn it. I heard it was good. I heard it was good. It, oh, it's no. not. It's the it first is... time I get to see Tracer in, in a movie. Why would I not see that? Yeah, and by the fifth time you see Tracer, you want to blow your brains out. <laughs> yeah. It is generic Hollywood trash. I will give it that. But if Dude. you've read the book, like the best thing about it are the uh, different references other than the book. Like no, they no, don't okay. use the so, so the, so the best thing is, is seeing the new shit that they put in the movie. Oh, Brock is bringing up Sophane. Surprise! No, no, Sophane and Fat Pat saw the movie and they did a live stream today about yeah. that thing. Well, they're both bad. massively disappointed. And to to advertise their their uh, live stream about the movie today, fucking Fat Pat earlier this morning tweeted out saying, "If you've read the book Ready Player One, skip the movie." If you never if I got my movie, movie opinions from Fat Pat and Sophane, my favorite flick would be the fucking piano, dude. I don't listen to them when it comes to movies. I don't listen to anybody, honestly. Yeah, no, you gotta, make up, your, you gotta <laughs> make up your own mind. Uh, yeah. Um, but when it comes to when it comes to movies, when it comes, when it comes to movies, when it comes to movies, yeah. And you said go see it, so I'm gonna go see it. Yeah. Don't uh, see it. When it. You see the first 20 minutes in IMAX, but I didn't read the book, but when it comes to the movie, after the movie, I got a sense of even if they changed events, which I know they did from the book, even if they changed events, I feel like it was just shit source material. I feel like that book probably sucks. Zell, how it's old are you? Terrible. How oh, old are you? It's, it's how old are you? Well, if Zell's a fucking a baby boy, book. he's it's gonna like... all those every reference is gonna go over his head. Ask Brockus, <laughs> ask Brockus. I like I understood every single reference in that movie. Oh, oh. The, the angle oh all the Halo references and fucking I, I, no, silly I, I got, Dude, we're talking about real 80s references here. Yes, How old yes. are you? I'm 31. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, that. Yeah, and I grew up and obsessed over Spielberg, over Lucas, Robert Zemeckis. There's yeah. a lot of odes to Zemeckis in the movie. Um, did, you, did you notice the Battletoads? Yes, I did about three yeah. times, and I didn't I give a shit by the second. <laughs> Like that's what I mean about the movies. Like the first twenty minutes blew my fucking they, mind. They, they and then after that, it's Chinese just a shit Harleys. story. It's terrible acting. It's hokey as fuck. And the live action stuff actually don't look. It doesn't look too good. Yeah, I look, didn't. Look. I wasn't. Like, I'd say go read the book because it's the book is really good. It really. Ugh. I really like. I wasn't, wasn't hard up to see it. Like I'm like, uh, oh, maybe. Uh. Well, the angle of the movie, I keep pointing out that I don't think anybody else noticed. And I noticed this because I have an autistic kid. The dude is super autistic. He created a virtual world to escape into because he couldn't be a part of the real world. And then he invented it so that he could include other people because he realized how lonely he was. Yeah, and Amanda, the that's thing... subtext, and we all got it. Yeah, but no, Zell, no, wouldn't no, you no. want to go to like the Warcraft <laughs> planet and walk around? <laughs> and fucking... hey, man. No, listen, the, the whole, all the '80s references and shit. The whole thing, the reason that it's all wonky. He's convincing everybody to love the shit that he loves. He's basically making everybody in that world a little bit more autistic, so they fucking understand him. That sounds gay as fuck. But I'd the creator in the Mike movie Crouch. was awesome. The creator in the movie, uh, uh, Mark Rylance, I believe that's the actor's name. Uh, he was incredible. 
That was the best part of the movie was the creator. I saw Probably. Annihilation. That was a disappointment. I can't oh, believe really? they, they only gave Simon Pegg three goddamn minutes of their time. Yeah. And then I like he Simon. had a great he had an amazing American accent. And then in the last scene of the movie, he just kinda like says fuck it with the American accent and it just starts slipping up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not getting paid enough for this bullshit. Oh god. It it was a train wreck. It's not the worst thing ever, but it uh, ugh. I met Simon Pegg. I got an autograph from him that says, I'm "Mark, jealous. you set my mouth on fire." I'm, I, I, oh, I actually, uh, I actually I'm was so the jealous. one that uh, introduced uh, Brockus to the Cornetto trilogy. He didn't even realize it was a trilogy, but I obsess over that fucking those movies. I, I, I actually got told uh, by somebody shortly after um, I think it was Hot Fuzz had come out. That they were talking about, uh, you know, making a trilogy and stuff. I never realized it was a Cornetto trilogy. I never knew what they had called it. That was the what I was completely shocked on. Like, that's what it's fucking called. And like, I, but I knew about the the actual trilogy, the end of the world type shit. Yeah, I like that they tackled uh, uh, like different genres with every movie, like really cliche genres, and then they just mix it up a little bit. I don't know. I guess the reason I like that angle that I like is because um, it terrifies me a little bit because I think that that's going to be my kid someday. Like, he's a well, super fucking genius with computers. He's going to be Halliday? Kill him! He's yeah. going to make a terrible movie! He <laughs> 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 no, plays, like, Geometry Dash on the demon levels, and he can get just all the way through. And he has this evil little demon laugh when he does it. He could do anything. The kid is amazing with puzzles. He's a super fucking genius. We get genius. it, Amanda. Your kid's fucking amazing. He the is. kid is, uh, t- is massively on the spectrum. This, we this reminds me of when Brian. I'm Brian blown away that a mother thinks their kid is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> wow. It reminds me of when Brian had a kid and he got mad at Lois for feeding him white bread. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave now. Bye. Have fun. Okay. Go away, Anon. Bye, Anon. Bye. Bye. Anon, what the fuck? Fuck you! <laughs> she can't nerd out with the rest of us. Mm. Hey, Anon, what's wrong with your face? Everything. Your face? <laughs> Anon, email me if you want a pizza roll. No, I want to die now. <laughs> she, she, she hates us because we're. I'm love a man her. now. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 why would you do that out loud? Fuck movies. <laughs> Anon just <laughs> really gets <laughs> mad because Rock everybody loves shit. Mr. Plankton. Fuck you, no, Justin! Ma- and Mark, I, did go, I did go tell you to see Ready Player One, but what did I also say? The, 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 to go yeah. see it in 3D? That's right. Not no, don't do that. No. Don't see it in 3D. I'm not going to see just it at see, all. Just see it in IMAX standard. No, me, everybody, dude, I don't know why everybody hates on 3D. There's some shit that's good that's I know good exactly why. Out there. And this I one, 3D, it seems like it would be all right in 3D. It I just know. To me, it just distorts the, no. the image and it just ruins the quality of the... And they the put image. in bullshit for fucking just the... the Not thing. if they do it right. Not if they do it right. Like it, I've it, always it, heard that, and then it always looks worse than, than the well, that, well, whatever. You Did you see Mad Max in 3D? Like, like that was fucking sick in 3D. I like some of the 3D shit that comes out. Mad Max yeah. still looks prettier yeah. in standard. You, you know, yeah, it, it does, that. but I mean, seeing in 3D really had a fucking effect. Mm. Here's the thing about I thought 3D. it did really well with that one. 3D, it works really well. For bright colors, that's why Bad Max looked as good as it did in 3D because it was all bright during the daytime. But when you have yeah. darker movies, like let's say like Guardians right. of the Galaxy, that movie is pretty dark. 3D did absolutely nothing. And same thing with let's say Pacific Rim, that didn't. Well, I don't know if that was in 3D. Well, anymore, I didn't want to pay. I don't want to pay 3D, so I'm not most like like it, like the first 3D movie I ever saw was Tron, like the new Tron movie. You didn't see Avatar. Nothing. No, what? You didn't see Avatar? No, I didn't. I saw Avatar? Avatar in 3D, and Avatar? it looked terrible. But I saw it in standard like first. And then Are I you saw kidding me? I think Avatar still holds up as like the best example of 3D usage in I any really movie. Liked, uh, That's fucking Age sad Ultron then, dude. It looked like 3D. shit. I think dude, the they, Age of Ultron my looks favorite great movie in 3D. is Avatar 2. Stop it. <laughs> no, and Mark's talking about uh, the Last Airbender too. That's no, true. I'm not. You fucking oh God! Shut the fuck up. That doesn't we, exist. We do not. Mark, speak why do you love the Shama- Last Airbender Shama- movie? Shama- why do you love the Last Airbender movie? Mark? M Night Shyamalan, Ding Dong, <laughs> cocksucker. I know. Uh, my, my wife is yelling no in the background <laughs> because John Cleese is in it. We don't talk about that. Wait, John Cleese is in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, yes, he's he one of the waterbenders. 
No, he's not. What? Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's you're, the one that teaches AI. I know, that, I know it's after, I I know it's after Cleese. you're thinking of, and that's not it's John Cleese. Cleese. I think he's correct. I don't think that's John Cleese. It looks a lot like him. I know you're a super fanboy of the last Airbender movie, Mark, and we don't understand why. <laughs> yeah. That is not John Cleese. That shit needs to be buried next to fucking E.T., the Atari game. Like, fuck. That game was good. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that that game is now now a which one of the comos just fucking said that it wasn't Robert on the did. screen? Robert said that dog is said some bullshit. You know that's some bullshit. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> dog is what's kid? the worst? What's the worst movie you can think of that you love? That I love? Yeah. Like but it's film. a horrible, horrible movie. But you love like it. the room type movie or some shit. Right? <laughs> no, but. But like honestly, bad. Like everyone. Oh, loves you're the room. you're looking for a fucking uh uh something uh, that we called? we probably all will agree that we hate, but you oh, love it. Serial. Like a secret embarrassing movie. Yeah, Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Uh, but oh. you could say you like like a, a chick flick or something. It could still be a good movie. Um, uh, but I'm Brock talking about a bad movie that you love. No, Brock is Brock is yeah, secret mine. shame. It's my, the secret shame movie. My yeah. secret shame movies is the uh, Transformers trilogy with Shia LaBeouf. No, that was pretty <laughs> fucking bad. I know I what love, Mark's I is. love those movies. I love those movies. They're so. Oh yeah, what do you think mine is? What do I think yours is? Yeah. The, Last Airbender. No, it's yeah. fucking Crybaby. Oh no, that's a great movie. <laughs> Suck a dick. Right, baby, it's a great That's movie. not your secret shame? No, my secret shame is Surf Ninjas. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Yeah. Dude, that's not a secret shame. That movie's fuck fucking yeah. great, dude. Rob Schneider, Ginger. Rob Schneider is the only <laughs> good fucking role because he's in. Because I don't know. I don't know why, but that movie's that movie's awesome. Dude. Ninjas. I think, Surf I think, Ninjas. I think my favorite one was uh, Super Bad. That's like. I don't know. A terrible movie that I just fucking love. Um, mine would have to be Crossroads. It's super. Gay. Oh God, Amanda seriously. I fucking God, love dude. that movie. I don't fucking care. gay. Is that the one with Britney Spears or yeah, is that Traveling know. Pants oh. or some shit? <laughs> no, no, Everyone no, no. just grabs. Britney Spears. Oh, Jesus one. Christ. Yes, I love that movie. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I think Amanda wins. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's a good movie. Screw you. I up. I, I honestly have a massive list of uh, of different bad movies that I actually enjoy watching. Um, but I guess for the sake of this, just because like everyone already knows I like Warcraft, so I'm just gonna go with the other one. Uh, Street Fighter with Raul Julia oh as Bison. Oh, oh God. so are you gonna stay here, or are you coming with me? <laughs> it's such a bad fucking movie, but it's I I watched it when I was a kid. I thought it was the greatest thing in the world. It's like yeah, oh, Street Fighter. I I was, like, you know what? I always hated Street Fighter, but Mortal Kombat. Mm. Oh, loved that movie dude, as a kid. I loved, loved that, that movie. That movie. I Mortal Kombat was Street such a garbage too. movie, but it was so fucking fun. The music made it fun, really. But and, oh god, and, uh, Mars attacks. Cammy, or the chick with the, the 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 army chick. What the fuck's her name? Gia yeah, Jane. No, the fuck in uh in uh Mortal Kombat. Oh, Sonya, Sonya Blade. Yeah, dude, she was worth that. The movie, teacher from Billy Madison. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Veronica Vaughn. <laughs> oh, to touch the high. Oh. Oh. Love that shit. <laughs> I watched Waterboy tonight with my dad. It was cool. Uh, Mars Attacks was the first movie I ever saw while I was tripping balls. Mars Attacks was a good movie. Yeah. That's a well, good, horrible movie. Yeah, because that's a horrible fucking movie, but I still watch it. <laughs> apartment. That's Mars Attacks is fine. Movie. Mars Attacks apartment. might be the biggest waste of a cast of any movie of all time. <laughs> I mean, you got Jack Nicholson and fucking Pierce, Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan and Michael J. Fox and fucking Bing Rames. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, no, that wasn't Bing Rames. No, that yeah, was. Yeah, it was. No, yeah, no, I think it was. Yeah. yeah Bing Rames and. No, uh, no, that wasn't Bing Rames. That was a different big black dude. No, I think it was Bing Rames, bro. No, wait, no, it wasn't Bing Rames. No, it, it was a different it. black dude. Not I'm going to put Rames. this in my Google machine right now. But Jackie Brown was his wife. What's her fucking name? Foxy Brown. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, just. Pam 
That okay. was Jim Brown. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Byron Will, uh, Williams was the guy. There you who go. Jim Brown. Yeah. The big Jim black dude. Yeah. That was not Bing Rames. Ah, uh, okay. Was, is he been and Glenn Close? Kid? And there, who was who was the chick that played their daughter? Fucking who was Natalie oh, Portman? God. Yeah, it wasn't Natalie Portman. Oh, yeah. oh I have no, I have a, I, I have a bit of film <laughs> trivia that that seems to trip the fuck out of a lot of people. Okay, you guys are you fans of the movie Hook? I love Hook. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Rufio. Okay. I got the okay. next piece you, of trivia. Do you okay? Do you remember the the guy that gets put into the boo boo box? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's Glenn Close. Yes, it's Glenn yep. Close. Yeah. Are you fucking, fucking serious? Freaky? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. This trips shit. people out. That's Glenn that fucking Close. Before. Look, That's look awesome. that shit up. Look that shit up, dude. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Yeah. All right. Um, she plays I got. A good I got trivia that will get the fuck out. Rufio played okay. in a dance movie with Richard Greer too. I'm Rufio surprised. was in a gay movie called But I'm a Cheerleader and made out and fake fucked a dude. <laughs> All right, Zell, you've seen The Fifth Element, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Bruce Willis, which is the hero of that movie, and Gary Oldman, which is the villain of that movie, never. Come not to only contact. do they never meet, but neither one of them knows the other one exists. Like, I guess they know they exist, but, like, neither one of them knows they're even on the opposite sides or fighting each other. Yeah. They never meet. That. It's fucking brilliant. They don't even know that they're against each other. Yeah. That That's a good so fucking cool. movie. And it still fucking works. Oh, yes. I love that. Movie. Oh, that Gary Oldman One, is such a good two, actor. Three. Uh, I got a piece of trivia. Uh, do you know what Scarlett Johansson's first movie ever is? North. Yeah. yeah. Nice. She plays North. She plays fucking. Uh, I'm impressed. Proto's little sister in that movie, and she's like fucking six years fucking old. Fucking nice, like that? that was quick. Yeah, okay. This is a fucking room full of film buffs. You keep asking questions, and someone answers it immediately. There's no <laughs> love story. That's a good movie. It's got the cheesiest cliche jokes in it ever. I, I hated North. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> I, I, like it. Dan Aykroyd? I blame Elijah Wood for that. Didn't it have da- Fuck you, he's awesome. Yeah, Didn't Dan, Dan Aykroyd's in it. John Lovitz is in it. Kathy Bates is in it. Is Joe uh, in it? Bruce uh, Willis is in it. Is in it. Bruce Willis is in that movie. Yep. Yep. Uh, and uh, Elaine and George are his parents. Reba McIntyre's in it. Fucking yeah, weird, that's man. Dan Aykroyd's fucking. I'm wife. Reba. I love Reba. Yeah, a lot of fucking people in that movie. It was like it a, was a shit now. movie though. It was like a more tame, less haunting version of Pee Wee. <laughs> oh, oh Pee Wee. I got a, a bit of movie trivia for you. Uh, right. Does anybody know why they switched to the uh, the split beds in uh, movies and TV and stuff for like married couples? You always saw them with you know two separate beds. Anybody know why they? Fuck! Did that? Hold on! Hold on! Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Hashtag me too. Uh, no, on. wasn't it the censors wouldn't like let them? Uh, yeah. Into, there was a it, specific like... movie that caused it though. Do you know what movie caused the big outrage? Oh fuck! No. Seven brides for seven brothers. Oh, I don't even know what that. Is. I just know. I just know that. Uh, that I learned. I learned about that from I Love Lucy. They did that in I Love Lucy. They, yeah, they split was, the um, beds eventually. Yeah, because they wouldn't. They wouldn't allow the the suggestion that there that there was any sex whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fuck, because that was a the good scene one. in a uh, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers where he coerces his wife. She goes out and climbs into a tree basically because she's not going to sleep with him because he like tricked her into marrying him to come take care of his seven brothers he coerces her into the the room or he's in the tree something one it, the bed breaks and it i guess it caused a big uproar at the time everybody freaked out and then they started doing that where they have to have <coughs> different beds in the movies in the tv yeah. <laughs> any more movie care. trivia what's up any more movie trivia oh there's always tons uh brock is Give us some movie trivia. What, which one you got? Um, well, there's always my uh, usual go-to when it comes to uh, 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 classic movies of the 90s. Uh, did you know that in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 90s movie, both the uh, physical actors inside the costumes were also extras throughout the movie? For example, yes. Raphael interacts with himself as the passenger in the taxi cab that Raphael uh, rolls over. Um, 
Raphael then later beats the shit out of uh, Donatello's body uh, um, actor, uh, Leif. What was his fucking name? Leif Tilden? Yeah, Leif Tilden, uh, when they tried to uh, jump April O'Neil in the subway. Um, <laughs> the guy who gets his ass kicked by the Japanese um, uh, second in command in the, the, the sparring thing, uh, the, the one in the mask, that is uh, Leonardo, and Michelangelo is the pizza delivery guy delivering a pizza to Michelangelo. <laughs> and Sam That's Rockwell is awesome. in the movie, too. Yeah, Sam Rockwell is the uh, the lead He's gang the member at the end of the movie. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot that! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, I love people, Sam Rockwell, man. People I freak out when you tell them Sam Rockwell is in that movie, but that oh, yeah. was that stick, man. That was the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie ever made. They need yeah. to make something yeah. like that again because that yeah. was fucking awesome. I loved the uh, sort of dark uh, noir take on it i liked it it was like a real that movie had a really solid tone like yeah. it was a really i think cool it was tone. also i think it was also because you're harping back to the original comics because yeah, the, the original yeah. the original Ninja Turtles were dark and uh, killers they and killers. yeah because i remember they cursed in that movie too and it like surprised my mom because she got it on vhs or some shit yeah and, well, it's just like i remember so well, that's like, that's why the second movie was so lame Oh, well, I remember people complain, parents complain. Kids, yeah. Them spending so much fucking time at the farmhouse with like Leonardo just sitting in a bathtub over his unconscious brother. Like they just showed like, like how depressing that was. And I'm like, what you look I look back on that now and I'm like, fuck, that's in a kid like it's supposed to be a kid's movie. And they just show like this this fucking dude all sprawled out in a bathtub for fucking three weeks. Do you want to talk about well, the present kids, kids movies? The Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's not the Disney that's not one. Depressing. That that is super. What the animated that actual that's story? story depressing. depressing, but that's not a kids story. Up is more depressing than the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Seriously, come on. That now. is a children like at the beginning he murders the mother and is about to murder a baby. And the last a- unicorn. Come on. Oh, oh, that always freaked me out. The skeleton in the clock. Oh, oh I, love I love that cat. scene. Oh, I love the cat. That's so fucking good. Uh, oh. Dark movie, Secret of Nim. Uh, fucking. Oh, that yeah. was a good one. Always as a kid. All that, dogs that, go to heaven. That was pretty dark. Yes. Uh, anything was, by Don Bluth was pretty dark. The never ending story. But like when, like well, the scene with the rock guy who was talking about Don Bluth eventually lost his fucking everything. mind. But yeah. Or the scene where Artax dies. Oh my god. You know, I, I tend to think that movies like yeah. uh, The Secret of Nim and All Dogs Go to Heaven sort of sparked the whole furry fandom thing. <laughs> no, that's like Robin Hood. No, because I mean, no, my I little Sonic pony was still Hedgehog. around then. It was fucking Sonic. It was definitely yeah. Disney. It was de- definitely Disney who did that. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it was it was something. You I know mean, what movie still makes me cry? Harry Thoughts and the Hedgehog. Sorry. Stop it. Yeah, it, well, it was a long time since so we ever got any animal oriented movie since like Zootopia. That was pretty much the, oh, the last one. Bound, like a motherfucker. Oh, fucking love. Even Homer. though they abused the shit out of those animals on that movie. <laughs> Dude, do you ever watch? Go rewatch Milo and Otis and talk about oh like God. abuse of fucking oh animals. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> the cats died yes. on that set. Dude, there's a scene where they literally throw a cat off of a fucking cliff into the ocean. It's like I, a 30 foot cliff, a kitten. Dude, homeward bound, my, though. It blows my, my fucking brother, mind. I think my brother making my kid watch that as an infant is why he is so obsessed with it. No, when, when Shadow can't get out of the fucking no. mud or whatever, and he's like... Ragnarok is, is in the chat is talking about Watership Down. I thought that movie was hilarious, man. Watership Down about. is a great family movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love the book, actually. The book is amazing. I never read it or saw it. It's a lot of fun. I didn't know about the movie for a, a, quite a while. I knew about the TV show. Um, it was a family-friendly cartoon what show. And I saw there was a movie. Went, oh, I should check this out. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear <laughs> God. Bunny <laughs> Massacre. Yeah. Bunny Massacre. Oh, are those bunny screams? God, so, dude. 
at first I thought that was like the darkest movie, animated movie involving animals. And then I saw the animated Late version dogs. of No, no, I saw an, an, um, Animal House, the animated movie. Um, the one with, where the animals take over the farm and then the pigs take over. You know, oh, are you talking about animal, yeah. animal Farm? Yeah, Animal Farm, the Orson Welles. Yeah, animal, animal House is house. a totally different yeah, movie. I was about to say Animal House. I was like, I would love to see a farm animal version of that. I was like, animal this is a live action a John Belushi Animal Farm. <laughs> Dude, but uh, Plague Dogs, it's by the same people who did Watership Down. Um, now that will make you want to kill yourself. Basically, it's two dogs escaping uh, a science testing plant. It's fucked up. Well, they need to go back into that science testing plan because we're more important. Yeah. They're being the, bad dogs. And a dog <laughs> is able to shoot this dude in the face with a shotgun. Jesus! Oh, yeah. Dude, it was fucking bad. <laughs> when, um, when I was little, Sweet. my grandmother gave me a movie called uh, Rigoletto on uh, VHS, which I guess is an opera, and they turned it into like a musical kind of thing for kids. It's super freaky and sad. It's like this dude with a messed up face kind of, I don't know, basically falls in love with this. She was a kid. I don't know. It was a weird fucking movie. She's basically a kid. And I don't know. They all chase him down because she's a kid and they think it's freaky that he's all in love with her, but he doesn't do anything to her. He's just teaching her to sing. And I don't know. It's weird. They murdered the dude and it was sad. I was little and she had me watching this. (laughs) That sounds depressing as fuck. It was. It was super depressing. I remember every song from The Last Unicorn. I've never seen that. Well, there was the last year. I remember the in the last unicorn. America, the band, America. Yeah, it was great. Had a good time. (laughs) Do you guys remember American Anthem? Fuck yeah. I know you do. Nobody, it's a dead silence. Nobody remembers American Anthem. What was the movie about? Tell us. Dude, okay. Did you ever see Hot f- or not fucking what was that movie with the uh, oh, not Hot Fuzz? Um, Hot Rod. Hot Rod. You ever see Hot Rod? Yeah. You know the scene where he does like the punch <laughs> dancing in the woods? <laughs> kind of. Well, like, and, yeah, and then like he trips angry. over the log and falls down the mountain over and over and over. But he but when he does that, he's like doing all these flips and shit in the woods. And getting on these like gymnastics beams and shit, and it's like a pommel horse made out of Man, a log. That sounds really awesome. It's a it's a combination <laughs> of uh, Footloose and American Anthem, where this dude goes out and trains for gymnastics out in the woods, and then wins like the whole competition. Great fucking eighties inspirational movie with montages and everything. Oh yeah, way to rip off Rocky. Whoa. <laughs> Everything with a montage rips off Rocky. All right. Whoa. Oh my god. Even Rocky rips off Rocky. It's the yeah. titty tree. Rocky three ripped off fuck uh, was ripped off in that because he went into the woods and trained in Russia. Uh American Anthem was before Rocky, Rocky three. Rocky four, right? Oh. Yeah, no, 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 Rocky Three Rocky. Rocky. Game. Oh wait, yeah, no, with Rocky Four. Ice Jesus Christ. I will break you. <laughs> if he right. dies, he dies. The Penguin and the Pebble was a good animated kids movie, but I'm going to bed. I gotta get my kids up for church in the morning. Oh, make, make, sure, you share, Disney. make, make sure you show them the family friendly movie, the, the Last Unicorn. Yeah, definitely. It's not. on Netflix. <laughs> actually. Oh, Seriously? Oh my god. Totally not doing that night, y'all. Night. I'm, I kind of want to go parent. to DeviantArt and type that in and see what pops up. Oh, god. I don't want to tell you how to parent, but you're a bad one. <laughs> oh god. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> okay. What so, else got? everybody's what else got favorite Mel Brooks movie. Oh God, trippy! Oh, God damn it! Um, that's Dracula, a tough one. Dracula Dead and Loving It. Oh God, no! Yeah. Jesus, no! Ew. Mel Brooks movie? Yes. It's either Blazing Saddles or Frankenstein. Robin Hood Men in Tights. I like Lust in the Dust better than Blazing Saddles, but that's just me. I uh, I think my personal favorite has got to be Young Frankenstein. Yeah. God, Spaceballs. Mm. Spaceballs God, it's such a so tough good. call. This is good, but Blazing Saddles is... Yeah. Hell no, uh, we raped the shit out of this. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are just fun and daily life. <laughs> Where are the white women at? <laughs> Looking good. So good. Good morning, man. Up yours, nigger. <laughs> Candy grab for Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking great. But dude. I turned around, I drew my pistol, turned around, and was staring at a six year old kid. I just dropped my guns and walked away. Little bastard shot me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Fucking love, dude. Blazing Shadows is the best. Mm. I'm sorry. Trippy, your- hey, Trippy Poop is giving me a challenge in the chat. He's he says one of his favorite movies is a trilogy. I bet I can't guess it. The trilogy or the movie? Because if you're saying the trilogy, then I know it's not Star Wars or Lord of the Rings right off the bat. Uh, you, no, you don't have to. Like, I love the trilogy of Lord of the Rings. I want nothing to do with the Hobbit. No, no, no. I'm I'm just saying those are too obvious. Like if he wants me to guess and doesn't think I'll guess it, it, it can't be one of those because those are the first two. I'm gonna throw one out there. To. I'm gonna throw one out there. It's the uh, Matrix trilogy. Fuck. I was just I was actually, yeah, yeah I probably yeah. yeah Matrix. You know what? You probably yeah, hit but, that right. Yeah, I'm gonna that Matrix. The Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> I yeah. remember when the Matrix just fucking like blew up and everyone was talking about it. The Matrix was probably the best movie I saw in the theater. I can never remember another movie I was sitting in the theater at that I was more excited while I was watching it. Like it was so good when we I was saw sitting it in the like, theater watching like we were it. Like it was a kick-ass movie. Freshman or sophomore in high school and fucking we were stoned uh, out of our minds. Trippy Poop is saying, get, uh, "Oh, fuck the yeah, he says fuck the uh, Matrix." My second oh, guess is oh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Oh goddamn you! <laughs> Jurassic Park. God, you can't count that. It's a trilogy. Fuck you. Yeah, you can, but ugh. no, but uh, no, now, now there's four. Now there's four. So fuck you. <laughs> well, I mean, you can still count that as a trilogy. That was, you know, like, right. like almost a decade. Yeah, they the, right. the characters, the same characters. There's a it. Jurassic Park trilogy, and then there's going to be the Jurassic World trilogy, and then we're going to all kill ourselves. Pretty much. Let's see, trilogy. How about Puppet Master? Is it the Puppet Master trilogy? Stop it, Mark. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I remember uh, getting into a fight with someone about why, uh, like, oh, why Rock has did... got it right. Okay. What? Woo! It was Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, I was very getting into an argument with someone about the, the Jurassic Park movies and why they had to make them a sequel. Because if, if they rebooted it, and they have to get more accurate with the technology, which means they'd have to make dinosaurs with feathers, and no one would want to see that. Be fucking I, got a little, I got a little movie trivia for Back to the Future. Yeah, hold um, on. What's the gentleman's name that played... Uh, the father to Marty McFly, George McFly, who played him. What was the actor's name? Crispin oh, was Glover. Crispin Glo- uh, Glover. Yeah. yeah. And Crispin Fucking Glover. AP in ruined the, that actor in, for in me. The, in, <laughs> in the Back to the Future trilogy, Crispin, Glo- Crispin Glover only performed for the first movie. The rest of the times that you see him, it's a recreation. Whether it's makeup, or the first, I think it was one of the first examples of them also taking a face and planting it on someone else's body. But they did some work like that. But Crispin Glover had gotten a fight with Robert Zemeckis. He was not in the second and third one at all, but they still had his character. So they filmed it in a very smart way and used makeup to make him look like him. Hmm. That's, that that's also kind of explains the, 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 the sort of semi-strange uh, incest story in uh, 3. Well, the girl too. The girl, the girlfriend, or no, wait, was it the girlfriend or the mom? I think they it was the girlfriend. Number two. Yeah, I think it was the girlfriend they recast. Yeah, she got recast, but no, because in the, the girlfriend third one, was Elizabeth Shue, was Elizabeth and she Shue, was in yeah. all three movies. Oh, was Elizabeth it, was Shue. it the girlfriend or the mom that was recast? Um, no, 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 it was the girlfriend because the girlfriend is a vastly different actress in one versus two and three, but the yeah. mom is the same woman in all three movies. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it was the girlfriend. Yeah. Yes. The, the girlfriend's girlfriend Elizabeth Shue in all three. No. 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 They. That's that's no, how the good first they one. It's not Elizabeth Shue. It's some brown-haired curly. It's some curly brown-haired chick. I remember that. Yeah. She's actually kind of cuter than. If you watch the first one again, one. you'll 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 see the girlfriend. You'll be like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. Yeah. She was in the... Back to the Future two and three, not one. 
yeah, yeah. um but uh no 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 what, the in number three the the incest thing i'm talking about is in in the past a woman who looks exactly like marty mcfly's mom and Marty McFly's ancestor himself are a married couple in in the the old west, and it's really fucking creepy when you actually think about it. <laughs> I like it. Though. Why wouldn't you think Claudia their ancestors Wells. would look like them? No, 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 because no, that's kind of giving a slight implication that maybe that family split up at one point, meaning that inevitably down the bloodline, they came together as as a family again to create the the McFlys. Dude, that's nothing compared to like the mom trying to fuck Marty in nineteen fifty five. She didn't know. In, in 1955. She didn't know that was her son, dude. That like give her the credit. Marty is the one who fucked up. Well, to Marty's credit, Marty was like, "Hell no." <laughs> to be contondered. Oh, oh my god. It's actually really interesting how they filmed those scenes where they have like the actors duplicates in the screen. And it was um, because if you notice in the scenes where like, say, Michael J. Fox is playing two roles in one scene um, in the composition of the of the, the image, what they did is like usually what they would do is they'd have a still frame or they'd have a still camera and they would just repeat the scene twice and then they would just mesh those scenes together. But Robert Zemeckis, being Robert Zemeckis, he wanted for those scenes the camera to move. So that that's for Back to the Future, they actually invented the technology to where they could record a pattern or a way for the camera to move, whether it was the lens or the dolly, whatever. They recorded patterns in a computer so that they could, they could film the scene twice, the camera could move, and the camera would move exactly the same way both times. And then they would mesh them together. It's pretty fucking awesome. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, the wow, wow. That, I, I like that kind of ingenuity. I don't know. I watch Ready Player One and I just go, I miss ingenuity. I miss the ingenuity. I hate the fucking, the, like, I, I like CG when it's good, but I hate the oversaturation of CG. Let's get some ingenuity, you know? Have some well, fun. at least the Ready Player One has the excuse of they're in a uh, digital world. They they do <laughs> have that excuse, but then um, what upset me in the movie, too, there's so many things that upset me in the movie, but what upset me in the movie, too, was mm. at one point in the VR or in the Oasis, there's um there's multiple, like, scenes of, like, um, uh, Brockus, I don't know how to describe this, but, like, you know what I mean, Brockus, real life. Like, everything looks fucking real. It Photo doesn't realistic. make sense! Yeah, they have it moments of this. Hold on, hold on. They have moments of of this where like everything looks photo fucking realistic, and then like my brain just started going, "Oh wait, why not do this for the Oasis?" And then like trickle in some CG, but have fun and let's show some ingenuity with this thing. Why not make practical sets for this thing right, and then uh, throw actually, in some CG? Actually, Zell, I'm gonna stop you right there. You need to stop talking about the movie because you will start giving away too many spoilers. Shut the fuck up now. No one cares. It's Ready Player One. Everyone uh, there, there are people it, it in the chat the and in this fucking hangout. No one fucking uh, ever. The, the, the story's so shitty the, the, it, that no one's going to care. Zell, 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 I'm going to tell you right now, just because you didn't like the movie doesn't mean people are not still excited for it. Stop fucking ruining other people's fun. Now you're tempting me. Don't. Don't do it. I will fucking I will tell Schmeckle to boot you out of this fucking thing immediately. Uh, Wade dies. Yeah, uh, his lover dies. Uh, Dumbledore kills see. Wade. Oh wait! <laughs> double door. Yeah, double door kills Wade. Uh, calm the fuck down, Brockus. I was describing realistic scenarios. I wasn't listing characters. No, I don't were, know where that no, came no, from. no. Shut your fucking mouth. You were going too much into detail into what's in the movie. Okay. What? They show that in the trailer. Yes, you but about? you can't you can't take that away from the trailer and say, oh yeah, that's actually something in the Oasis. Hey, hey, Brockus. Oh my he? God! They show photorealistic Brockus. shit in the Oasis, guys. I ruined it. Hey, Brockus is out. Doesn't Serrano's? I'm gonna kill Doesn't the Serrano's fucking avatar look like handsome Shrek from Shrek Two? Serrano's what? What avatar? You know Serrano, the bad guy, the I O I bad guy. Oh, oh, uh, his business yes. suit avatar. Does he look he like, looks like that? Handsome looks Shrek like... from Shrek Two. Yeah, he looks like handsome Shrek bucked fucked Clark Kent. Yeah. yeah. Dude, well, I don't understand what that avatar is supposed to be. He's like some kind of overly buffed out 
Superman or handsome Shrek Superman? I, and I get loved. it there in a video game, but it just still like it did not look good. <laughs> it's like you can't linger on those those characters I for too fucking long. Fucking hate T.J. Miller, dude. That dude fucking drugs. I like him. Hey, but that, that... just came in. Oh, I'm sorry. Kadunt just came in. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm like hey, Kadunt. Kadunt. Hey, Kadunt. She's a lurker. At least one of you. At least one of you boys loves me. Oh, Whatever, baby. Said to the league. Let me send you some neck pictures. Yes, oh, more necks. <laughs> oh. So let's talk about sexy necks in movies since I heard you guys talking about movies. Uh, Vin Diesel, sexiest neck there is. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> She'll fight you on that. She's probably going to go with uh, Tom Hiddleston. And I think she just oh, 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 wait. <laughs> dude, <laughs> she just came... dude, this is weird. The show needs more of this. Ladies coming on air. No, see, you know yeah. what you just tell them? You, you, you don't listen for them to scream. You listen for them to shut the fuck up. It's when they can't scream that they're really going at it. <laughs> oh, but of course. Really? Is that what you tell yourself while they're silent? <laughs> yeah, and and that's exactly them? what I told myself. <laughs> Dude, all right. Is she one, is she one head really pregnant? Zell, stop doxing people! I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm just giving you yeah. shit. No, so no that's what Trippy Poop just said. Trippy you gotta give me better shit than that, little pregnant. bitch. April Fool's, bitch! I wonder what? if they'll name their kid Skeptic on Head. Oh, yeah, Skeptic. don't believe don't. anything you read on the internet today. Like, anything. No, it's still not April Fool's yet. It's You gotta wait well, until... because. Uh, it is in some parts. It's, it's only half an hour. hour. The West Coast oh, is still a few hours Schmeckle behind. Schmeckle is in April Fool's time right now. So in Canada. Um, you know, I did just see something. I don't know how many of you are anime fans. Uh, but I don't even know if this is true. But apparently, the first episode of Fooly Cooly Season 2 has been aired as an April Fool's joke. I don't, I don't want to feel your cool, though. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, cooly it was it was scheduled to be on Tsunami. Tsunami is usually on Saturday, so yeah. Well, no, uh, but guys, it wasn't supposed to be. Sorry, but I'm going to have to take off. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Rob's well, fine. Right. All right. Thanks. Don't be, okay. don't be sorry. Bye. No, bye. Bye for leaving us. <laughs> Rob's yeah. either getting some or he's got work to do. It's don't, one of those you sound things. like you're trapped in a well. Yeah, and Am I got I? some work to do. Am I trapped in a well? Yeah. We got to help you. Uh. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, I love you all. Get out of here, you Rob. Are you bear too long? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I Psycho. yelled the duck Psycho down. In the chat. You are absolutely <laughs> dead wrong. You just screamed the <laughs> duck out of existence. Good job. <laughs> Screamers are the best, oh, no, Psycho. Come back. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> now I'm purposely antagonizing fucking uh, uh, Anon on Twitter with uh, ready, uh, red letter media gifts. <laughs> Rockus, do you like a screamer or no? Uh, I do. I do enjoy the screamers. Yeah, me too. I'll take it. Psycho in the chat is psycho. By the way. Wait, you're still here? Who me? No, not you. You. I saw Rob's thing still in the thing, and I just refreshed. Do I sound better? You yeah. sound better. You sound you sound way better. And um, okay. good night, everyone. Good stream. Uh, sorry, Kadant, we couldn't have you on for long. Uh, no, we'll it's see fine. You tomorrow with um, I don't know, Brock is fucking a goat and whatever else we need to do to entertain people. Why do you want me to fuck the goat? I'm understand. just getting started. I just took another shot. What the fuck? No, Mark. No. <laughs> Are you gonna do failure? Yes, Mark. Yes. Mark, get fucking blasted drunk and start playing Goodbye Horses. <laughs> um, I'm a quarter of the way through this Jameson bottle, and I'm dude, chasing do it. Beer. Do it, so. go, dude, Mark, go nuts. Let's do Mark, it. I don't know why, but it's been a thing as of late to get fucking blasted drunk, dude. Uh, Mark, Mark I two, see you're a man of taste. Two uh, St. Patrick's days ago, I drank a bottle and a half of Jameson by myself. We, me and my roommate, bought six bottles of Jameson for this party, and there was only like eight of us there, and we went through all of it. Mark, I want to party with you. Man. I want to party. That, that's that, that's my kind of party. Bottles of Jameson. That's amazing. Oh yeah. Jameson is my dude. I'm I'm just holding the bottle in my hand and drinking it. I don't even give a fuck about shot glasses or glasses in general. <laughs> Not when it comes to this shit. This is why you're the good you're the good brother. Mm -hmm. Rob, Rob I, is a dirty. 
I love my brother to death, but sometimes I wish he would get drunk with me. You hear that, Robert? I know you're listening. I love you so much, but come on, take some shots. <laughs> Let's do it. He is listening, that <laughs> dirty slut. I know. Oh my god, you, know, you fucking uh, lying whore. You could have been on the stream with us. I think he just doesn't no, want he, people to he hear. Has to, him he has to work. He works from home. He uh he does paperwork and shit online and stuff. He makes quite a bit of money. But uh he uh Docs. he gets to listen to his shows and shit while he's working and smoke cigarettes oh, and do whatever cool. whatever else he wants. I'm very jealous. I want Rob because when I'm working, I have to go out in a hundred degree weather and get up on roofs. That sounds um you, that sounds like it sucks for you, yeah. and that sounds like it's awesome for him. Well, yeah. my money's so, better though. <laughs> well, I, I, well, here's here's the thing: is you've actually showed me your neck pictures, so automatically, yeah. when mm. oh, she also likes beards, bro. So you you definitely got a bonus in that neck pic. Oh, I just shaved, neck but she likes my five o'clock shadow. I'm okay with five o'clock shadows too. They're still tickly. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Welcome to Danny are, Corner with are, are that, and Kadunt. <laughs> so, Kadunt, um, I'm gonna send you some more neck pictures here. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not on Twitter right now. I I closed that shit out because I figured um, oh, maybe oh, having you're too gonna many tabs see open. This. You're gonna want to see this. It's the neck of my dick. What what is it? The neck of your dick. Oh, send yeah. that to Lo-Fi and Brockus. <laughs> so, so help me out. Um, Brockus. Just, has seen fuck you. You're on your own. No, no, no. Which should <laughs> I do the who cares meme or or the uh, um the the uh god damn don't it. Act like you don't look it away. I don't know, Brockus. Nobody cares. Yeah, no, no one cares what you post, dude. No one. A non responded with a with a uh, gif. Uh, Brockus, says, grow up. You're gonna Brockus. grow up. You're gonna get in your fifties. You're gonna die. Cool. No one's gonna care. Rockets, just be careful. I'm still claiming my right of prima nocta, and you are fucking mine for the evening before <laughs> Zell gets you. No, we, broke, we broke up. There's no wedding. There's no need for that. Yeah. Oh, Dude, no, no. I called right. Of It doesn't matter. That's like breaking a contract right there. You can't fucking what do contract? it. What contract? Go ahead shit. and rape him. He's yours. Dude, call Judge Scalia, because I'm taking you to fucking Supreme Court, and I'm getting my prima nocta. You For you sure. could have the rape without calling you prima nocta now because we're not getting married. It's but, off. So but how I are you doing, Samaj and Outlaw? I want you for the night and then pass you off to Zell, bro. Okay. I'm fine. I don't want, I don't want sloppy. Doing? I don't want sloppy tints. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, because I would fuck him nine times, wouldn't I? <laughs> Jesus, these boys. These boys just they, you can they call always me Mark. have to whip their dicks out. Yeah, it's like the dick measuring contest, and no Brock. Whatever, not losing. Rob. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Okay, so Robert worked at uh, it, at this restaurant in a hotel for about two years, and then quit. And then about six months went by, and I applied to work at that restaurant in the in this hotel. And everybody at that place called me not Robert for about four years. <laughs> <laughs> You guys look alike. It's true. Yes, we do. We're identical <laughs> twins. Oh, I didn't know that. I just thought yeah. I just knew you guys were brothers. Yeah. <laughs> My Adam's apple. Is how is it? How is it? I'm like the fucking casual out of all of you. Yet I knew this. Because no one cares. <laughs> yeah, they don't give a shit about me. Yeah. I got Aww. the first time I was ever on the cunt stream. I got booted off for five bucks. Thanks, Phoenix. <laughs> oh, he, he was a good boy. Now he's bad again. Fuck you. <laughs> what do you do now? I don't, well, he, it, you just you told me a story. Now I don't like him again. Oh yeah. Is it oh, isn't yeah. he a wigger to you now, Zell? He's he's going to wigger status. It's okay. Mark's my nigger. Mm, love you. Is Jesus Christ your nigger? I have no. a brand new pair Fuck of boxers yeah. just waiting for when I meet Zell. Actually, Jesus and I got to talk. I just got some issues with him. Like, he's a little dirty around the house. I don't know. He's got to clean up more. He might be a nigger soon. Outlaw's a nigger. Samaj is a nigger. Schmeckle's a fucking retard. Hope he heard that. <laughs> oh, Rock my God. I found, a cat. I found a kitten dressed up like Slash, 
and I'm going to post it on Twitter. But it, it, Are you ADD right now? I'm, I'm have drunk now more than a quarter of a bottle of Jameson to the head with beer so chasers. That's a yes. Keep so, going, Mark. Yes. You're Keep almost there. I'm, I'm waiting hey, to press, hear the Press one sound. in the chat if you want Mark to get blit, if you want Mark to get fucked up. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there quick, fast, and in a hurry. I want a one in the chat, and then Mark's going to get fucked up. <laughs> hey. Because we got nothing better to do. Like and, I already and then posted... we'll get and then we'll get Mark's opinions on shit and then you can start getting like angry and stuff and personal because you're so drunk. <laughs> Hold on. I, I just yeah, want to show you, I don't know if any of you Ooh, have my no. Twitter, but I posted a picture of the full bottle of Jameson, I don't know, oh, about Jesus. an hour and a half ago. And <laughs> I am taking a picture ass? of the bottle as it stands right now. You showed up your ass. Bernie, and, just uh, one, oh, one oh, Jesus. Just and you can literally see it. <laughs> shit I have had in the past hour and a half. Actually, if you put the alcohol, Outlaw's got something here. If you put the alcohol up your anus, it'll it'll hit you faster, right? It's true. It will. Yeah, because the um the does, the does he the Outlaw? Do you even know who you're talking to? Do you even know who you're talking to? No. No. Do you know who you're talking to, Mark? These, are, these lips have never that's, tasted that's alcohol. Outlaw. This is God's loophole right here. God's, God's loophole. Mm -hmm. Everything involving the ass is God's loophole. Ah. <laughs> Have you guys seen the one, the the one video? Um, fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Thank you yeah. for the reference. I love you, Jesus. Fuck me in the ass because I, I love Jesus. Oh God! I just baby. thought of something horrible, but talking at the same baby, time, I think it would be funny. Baby, your love <laughs> and your dick rubbing all against it. It's all no, thing, no. yeah. You're, you're, you're gonna get kicked off the fucking cut what? stream. What? Plus one. You're not allowed to sing on the cut stream. There is no singing on the cut stream. What there is, is no with singing. you and all these rules for kicking? You're being a little bitch. I'm gonna kick rules. you if you spoil a movie. I'm gonna <laughs> kick you if you talk about Jesus. <laughs> what? Happy Easter, bitch. I'm gonna Happy kick Easter. you if you talk about Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, what the uh, fuck is wrong with God you? God doesn't What's wrong with you, though. party yeah. pooper? Fuck. I, the, the singing. Fuck That's one of Shrek's rules. The oh. fuck is happening? Shackle, are you listening? If you're if you're listening, then um, kick somebody. <laughs> well, okay. I, just posted, I just posted the picture of the Jameson bottle. If anybody cares to see how cool, there is a very real chance, <laughs> guys. There's a very real chance that Schmeckel's passed out, and he, we may be going for who knows how long. That's so fine. Be, no, we be got well aware. We got this shit. Are you serious? We'll talk about all sorts of shit we probably shouldn't talk about. My name's well, Schmeckel, and I got nipples on my head that I'm afraid to show. Well, now <laughs> that Nan is gone, maybe we could, we should harp on the new Star Wars movie. And how oh, fucking terrible I haven't seen it. it. I kind of refuse to. Good. No, what annoyed me was, okay, I got like in a back and forth on Twitter with, uh, with Anon, uh, and she could say whatever she wants. That bitch got salty. I love you, Anon, but you got fucking weird. And then she, like, I, I, I don't know what I fucking said. I fuck it, I forget. It was, like, something about, oh, yeah, Leia, Princess Leia. And, and they were talking about recasting her. And I was mm -hmm. like, no, don't do that or else I'm done, whatever. And then Anon felt like she had to include a point that, oh, I hate all the criticism that The Last Jedi gets. Like, people treat their opinions like they're objective. I'm like, what are you doing then? <laughs> that statement, you're treating like it's objective. Like, Shut up! Complain about the movie or love it. It's okay if you love it. Love it. I think hard. you're. I think you're a moron if you love it, but it's all right. You love what you love. <laughs> There's people that love Last Jedi. I, ugh, I can't stand it, and I'll talk about it. Yeah, the yeah. Worst you like what you like, man. Bro. Yeah, <clears throat> like I, you know, I. Mm. Yeah. I just want that yeah. bottle of Jameson right now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah. jealous. I have that bottle of Davidson right now. I know it's you do. Oh, yes, yes, we know. <laughs> we, we know. Isn't that a sexy green bottle? So slim. Shout up your ass. Because mm. you love Jesus. <laughs> I can't post that on Twitter. I'll get shadow banned. Just no, no, you 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 just uh, you change see, your Mark, settings because I post like all the things on Twitter now, but I make it so that like <coughs> I have the warning that it might be sensitive material. Yeah, uh, t- Mark, did you see what I got suspended for 12 hours for? It was no, a week or so back. I, I it was okay, it was about a week or two ago. I got suspended for 12 hours for a post that I made in February where I, I said to uh, you know, Joyce, Joyce Sparkle BS, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I said in a tweet because it was like around the time that she was like uncovering all this bullshit and stuff. I said, "Joy, you're a, you're a crazy bitch, but I love you because she is. She's fucking nuts, but she's entertaining. She's so insane. that's what I oh, that's I, what I said. In the, yeah. That's what I said in the tweet was you're a crazy bitch, but I love you. That was um, it was like labeled as like abuse or something. That was harassment. Threat. Yeah, you're yeah, a harasser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Will you I come like, harass my fuck? ass? That was fucking random because I've said like nigger like 15 times in tweets, but that <laughs> was the one. Well, I think it's because you sent it to actually someone. I don't know. Maybe like, did you say like nigger to a person? I can't remember. I just know I've said worse stuff, so it was weird. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, mean, he Samash, did say nigger Samash, to a person. Have you, all, Samash, all, have you been all of this, on Twitter? No. All of this pisses I'm a me good off boy. to no end. Mark, Mark you've, you've been suspended on Twitter, right? Once. What was it for? Uh, it was do? for posting a picture with visible dick in it. Okay, Not my so dick. You, you know you fucked up, though. <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, well, though, why I, is that fucked up? I can fucking do a search and no, 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 find it's not anything fucked up, I want. But you know you did fuck up. Because, come on, you put a dick on so, Twitter. Well, I, yeah, but it was it was like a reach. It wasn't like my dick. It was like a fucking joke gift dick fucking i said something to fucking uh you should have expected the band i'm just saying. oscar young the other day and he posted a picture like he he has a standby gay porn picture that he fucking uses i swear to god he posts the same shit but uh my point is i can search anything i can find the craziest porn on twitter and i post a fucking meme as a response to that shit and i get banned it's fucking bullshit yeah i'm sorry uh i'm getting way too drunk to to, uh articulate I i posted a picture of a of a art thing i did a commission of a i think it was like a a Girl getting like, gang banged by a bunch of werewolves or something like that, and I never got in trouble for that. And then we have actual like nudity and and like you know wolf dick and and boobs and all that stuff. So I, I don't know, but then again, I did hashtag it like you know NSF, like not safe for work. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that was my loophole. But you know what? In the end, all this bias does nothing but help us because the the more blatant the bias is of these uh political views like where they will uh censor political views and not like actual atrocities the more blatant it is the more it helps people that think like us you know? i don't know i i want to think that and then i look around and i see the culture war they're still winning it overall it's well, scary. well no, no no but they have they have to get into some sort of position of power for people to care enough to fight back against it. And uh, they've like honestly, I think they've hit that point. And oh, are you talking I mean, about they, like like, the like Mark. Of Donald Trump shows yeah, that yeah, we've hit yeah. that point. No, no, no. Like Mark, so, are you talking about like a great example would be like um, Dankula being found guilty? Um, that it sucks, it's terrible, but it also just gave us tons of ammunition. Well, yes, it's he's a great martyr, but you know what? That was a a genuine example of when I got I got so insanely pissed at that. I was when that happened, I felt personally offended. I felt 
it's not even my country. I'm but feeling felt, so attacked right now. Oh, I'm feeling very Dude, attacked. I, I can't even describe it. I got I got furious. <laughs> That day, you should so don't, go don't back to my go inside that house that and, and see what the fuck I said to like the Scottish then, police. Fucking and shit. fight me right now! Oh, do fight it, me, bitch! Go you look you fucking that know what the fuck I'm going it. through right now, Zell. Like you, you, you really want to start a fight with me? Let's fucking do it, bro. I yeah, got I'll you. Go to jail. I'll go to jail. Uh, yeah, let's, Can I let's pay to see this? this? I got Jello. I have Jello. Can you guys don't do anything? Get me right there. Did you guys? uh did you guys do the the topics? The social media, the visas, and trans people are invisible. Yeah, that would be confusing invis- me. What the hell with the trans people invisible? <sighs> What's that? They what, what is they that? They don't have superpowers. Are you trying what? to say that, that trans people are transparent? Oh! I like it. Oh! I like it, Samaj. Ah, you said the magic word. Look. <laughs> <Slow clap. laughs> ah! Hey, Charlie. No, I think it could even be that uh, I don't know. Maybe some trans people are are obviously trans. I don't know what you're. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's one of the three subjects. The three subjects were social media, visas, and trans people aren't invisible. Who said that those okay, are the trans subjects? Trans people are not no, invisible. So they're they're just, just like fucking one leak. in a billion. What? She's trans trying to. She, no, no, Mark. Uh, she's trying to say that that's in the title of the video. It's was not. the title of the video? Oh, is no that's the title that's of video. that's what uh, it was. That's okay, what I was asking if that got hit on because I wasn't really paying attention. Some of it. Was, oh wait, Brent. Oh, go ahead. Some of it was tackled. Some of it we just sort of glossed over. Um, Did you guys but, see the angry gamer got charged with fucking uh, sexual abuse? Really? Wait, the angry video game nerd. Not the angry video game, they're the angry gamer. Which one he's is that like one? a popular gamer slash SJW, like on the Gamergate on the when it comes to Gamergate on the side of not us. Oh wait, uh Klaus sorry for interrupting, but Klausen, Lord of Virulence, said the Twitter trans day of visibility. Oh. The fuck is that? Well, I don't not, know. That's Maybe less that's interesting. Not. Yeah. No. Well, I j- if he was clarifying. So thank you. Um, I'll look that I, up. I, if I you're know. trans, that's cool. I don't there, fucking there, care. There's a lot of days out there that I, I just don't pay attention to. Like I found out that um, it was Alien Abduction Day on the day that Count Dankula got sentenced or got uh, uh, found guilty. That was. You know what this day. reminds me of. Insert comic book reference here just to piss off Zell. No, we're good. Oh, Excelsior. that's what it is. Today is officially International Transgender Day of Visibility. It's an annual event that occurs on March 30, 31st, dedicating to celebrating transgender people and raising awareness of discrimination faced by transgender people worldwide. It's an actual, it's a, it's, I guess it's now an international holiday. Yeah, of course it's an international holiday. They keep coming up with holidays that make zero sense because they're not even actual holidays. <clears throat> I, was, I was, I was looking it up because, because uh, Clausen had, had mentioned it and I was curious. And is there, a, is there a month? Um, and I'm talking about like maybe hidden away somewhere in the books of history, but is there a month for white people? No. That no. we just don't really talk about or isn't acknowledged, or is it just like there's nothing like that? No, white people don't get their holidays, white people don't get their uh recognition shit. They don't more, even really... more specifically like like white there's no, European. Well there's we... there's no holiday, there's no celebration in that, that fashion. And uh Every single year around Father's Day, you're going to see feminists going crazy on fucking Twitter. The crazy ones, mind you, screaming, so abolish Father's Day. Well, isn't, wouldn't you say that St. Patrick's Day is kind of like that? Isn't it like an Irish thing? And they're, they're completely white. Uh, you oh, can even Ren, argue that with Christmas or Halloween. Ren, Ren is saying um, that she and I should uh, jello wrestle topless. Yes. I was just thinking that she is a mind reader. 
That's a great idea. I love that this is idea. The best idea. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it wrestling, but some people do, I guess. Mm. You know, I would love that that whole thing to actually happen, and everybody thinks it's just going to be this fun, cute thing. But then Ren like legit grabs. I know, like, like, <laughs> lines, <laughs> fucking like, like, yeah, I'm prepared for this to get sexy. <laughs> you see blood splatter in the green jello. And the fucking yeah, Allah comes and just elbow yeah. drops everybody. And then, and, then, and, then, and then Mark and then Mark Brockus and I are just like standing there and like our faces go from like excited to like I don't want to be here right now. This is very awkward and, and depressing because like the girls are like bleeding and beating each other up. And we're just yeah, like, I'm, I'm picturing go. it like a movie where it shows all three of our faces and we're all smiling and then splatter of blood across all three of our faces and our smiles just go oh. Oh god. It's like Fight Club, but with Jello. Right, exactly. Yes. And humorous. And with titties. Lots of titties. First oh, rule oh, of oh, Fight Club. We said Jello. Where's Brock Cosby? Yeah. Oh no, the pudding. You guys talking about using uh, Jello pudding to have a That's a great idea. Ladies, I made you some special drinks for the oh, fight. God. I bought pudding tonight. Now I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> and then All right. to me. Drink out of the bottle. Hello. Ooh. And goodbye. Bye. Okay, bye. <coughs> That's not you being bye. Oh. What are you? Oh, give God. me some cleavage, kid. On, I'll give you some neck. Yeah, you just search Twitter. I I, I sent a picture <laughs> back to to. Ren, That's but... just lazy as fuck. I hate that yeah. shit, dude. Like I don't. I, I'm I'm sitting in my fucking like I don't got the fucking <laughs> lighting and shit. Like you guys don't even know. Like you, you don't, don't even know. Even, no, hey, you hey, don't hey, even hey, know. Hey, send a picture of titties. Are you worried about like the lighting and the angle? And I'd like to see them, so a little bit on the lighting. See, do the, well, okay, do the duck okay. lips. That's what a flash is for. I don't have any pringles. I can't do the duck lips. Oh, uh, don't do duck lips, God. No, I, I I can't. I don't have pringles. Good. Oh, good. Wait, that means you don't have I DSLs have. either. Wah, wah, wah. They're, they're the only fucking. Duck lip pictures. I do. I don't fucking know, guys. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Brock is everybody is just fucking like lips. drunk That's and shit right now? Like, we're just we trying to stretch it to ten o'clock so we can call it a real show. Well, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm entertaining as fuck. So, well, you're drunk. Wow. To you. Someone's drunk got right the ego. Now. That doesn't count. That's not bad. Well, yeah. you're, you're also drunk. You seem to think that you're. You're always better when you're drunk. Mark, drink I don't, more. Hit those I, shots, buddy. I don't know about any of you guys, but I don't understand why Zell doesn't understand that people are just going to hate fuck him for the rest of his life. Oh, yeah, I'll love Mark? fuck him in response. Someone's going to hate fuck Mark? No, you. Zell. you Zell. Why would you hate fuck me, Brockus? Because look at that ass. Like, I hate so you. So you're admitting you'd fuck, fuck you. me. Oh, I hate fuck you. That's that's the there's the difference. Yeah, sure. There's some. No, love there's there. no love. There's feelings. There's no there's love feelings. in this relationship. Yeah. There's some he, feelings he'd fuck there, you, buddy. Zell, but he'd be thinking about Gerard Butler. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Because well, you know, he he get over here, Brockus. Let's do this. Brockus just whenever he fucks Zell, he hates Zell because he hates the fact that he loves fucking Zell. Is that yeah. what you boxer? I just, you know, just, boxers just drilled a hole. Why can't they just years? hate a person? Like, you know, is, is it so bad? Like, because with I you, there's Zell. always more to I'm it. Than that. It's not just it, there's no more to it. I just, yeah. I, I just hate you. I hate your You're face. I hate your individual. Your big juicy ass. I, I hate. I hate that you you breathe. That's like, I hate weird. A lot of <laughs> I love all of you. I don't That's know what that is. Hell. It's I so, know, it's so okay. gay. But honestly, gay. in all honesty, guys, uh, I love this fucking channel. I love coming on here every night, like, and getting into the chat and talking to all you guys. 
Oh, uh, I, I really oh, do. Oh, like so Other than my brother's channel, <laughs> obligation, <laughs> nepotism. Uh, this is my favorite. Saying that earlier, show. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, Sorry, um, I stopped listening uh, to you. Po Mar Pokemon Go made yeah. eight bit little Pokemon for Poke for April Fool's Day, and I was actually playing that earlier. And yeah, they totally did. It was cute. Are you Pokemon kidding me? Is, Pokemon is so yeah. horrible. Oh they shit! Really I may I may actually have to re-download this game then. I saw playing because like, it's like. I'm gonna piss all you off and say fuck Pokemon. Okay, no, whatever. you're not gonna piss me off. Yeah, Pokemon yeah. goes shit. I fucking hate it and I hate when Brock is playing it. Yeah, okay. that's all Brock he does. But, Pokemon but for go the go rest of it's us, crazy. Pokemon go fuck yourself. <laughs> for the rest <laughs> of us, um, it's just in the little search bar thingy or whatever. Huh? But the it's just in the search bar thingy, like when when you're so searching search around bar. for what Pokemon are nearby. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that, yeah. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, that was, but, yeah. but it's not actually like the graphics. It's not like like yes, you, class no, and Pokemon no, Go oh. is still a thing. That's, that's <laughs> actually it's a more game where you just tap your phone and then just collect little critters and then wish you could fuck them like Brockus does. I don't wish. All right. I can't well, wish. I think I terrible. we we stretched it to ten. I think we did good enough, right, guys? We did yeah. a show. We talked. Gonna, we actually we're, talked. We're I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm, and this I'm gonna was go all over free. And I'm gonna beat. It smell. was all free, guys. I'm on a and we talked. Him. Shut up, Rocky. Well, we, we talked and it was all free and I we gave you entertainment. Face. You guys like to pay for this. I want to punch his Z Z Z Z shut the fuck up. <laughs> Samaj, do your thing. We had... He's still uh, here in spirit. Samaj, I love you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, <laughs> wow. I, 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 I feel totally the same. Um, we had Lilness and Honest. <laughs> we had uh, Mark. We had uh, Robert. Sorry, I, I got you guys confused there for a second. You're fucking it's twins. All right, it uh, Bro we, we had Brockus, Kedunt, uh, Outlaw Bear Dog, Zell. And that's uh, it. Uh, and me and Schmeckle. Uh, Schmeckle and Spirit yeah. for the most part. Yeah, no, that's it. Good night. Yeah, night. Fuck off, guys. Done.